<laughs> Loading up the game. Doing the regular old checks, make sure everything is working. All right, let's see. Do we have sound, video? All right, let's see. I think so. All right. Have sound. Uh, did something weird. Okay, we're in the game. And. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I can see the chat and we're in the game. I think it's like everything is working, I think. Cool, cool. All right, so here we are back in, I'm underneath my truck. So that's our rocket ship. There's all of our base. It's a nice, beautiful day. That's our beautiful beast. I think we are getting pretty much ready to um, actually take this thing for a test flight. But to do so, I'm going to need to load it up with stuff. What are we... Okay, let's, let's go take a look at... Yeah, because the ion thrusters we didn't have resources for. This thing should, oh, it's offline, right? I turned everything off because I was, uh... okay. I just want to take a look at the inventory system. <clears throat> so we're empty of everything at the moment. And in here, I feel like my settings were reset a bit. It's look harder to read, or is it just because I'm looking out into the space, into the clouds? Maybe. All right. Uh, let's see here. I would like to look at, what do we have on here for, so, batteries, connectors. What do we have on this thing for actual yeah, there it is. Let's turn that back off. Connector. Cargo container. So we have one large cargo container on this thing. Flight seat has a little bit of storage. Should probably put <coughs> a bunch of these bottles in here as backups. We need to refill that one. We've got level two tools. Uh, there is some space in the connector if we need it. We've got the hydrogen tank. I believe they are full. I don't remember now. All right, well, let's, let's turn some stuff back on and hook it back up. And then we're going to load it up with some stuff. Okay, so let's go in here. Now, I turned off a whole bunch of stuff, right? Because I was worried about draining the batteries. So let's go. The guns are currently off. The gyros. Turn them on. Hydrogen. Well, I guess we don't need the drivers on the remote. Hydrogen tanks are on. Thrusters are off. Thrusters are off. Landing gear is on. Lights. Reactors. Right. We can keep those off for now. We have our batteries. Connector is on. Good. Okay. Flight seat. Okay, we have that generator turned off at the moment. I'm gonna turn you on. Remote control, survival kit, turn on. Okay, so then if you, okay, you do actually load us all up, good, good. And then we wanna reconnect this guy. I probably should actually just get a button system going for this, right? So I think all I need to do is piston, I want to reverse it. 
It should be the right distance. Took that up. Myself some tea. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go lock this thing so that we continue to recharge and load everything up that we need. Uh, my G menu. Turned on proximity. Not sure what's on my G mini right now. Uh, let's go to the connector and let's lock it. Okay, looking good. So then, if I go in here and let's take a look at what, do, how is our so our batteries? All right, so. They are set to recharge, let's say. Do I have batteries as a group? I don't. What do we have here? Battery. I think they are fully stored through, yeah. Okay, good. I wanna make sure that they don't get used for other things, and then what else do we need? Hydrogen tanks. Just look at everything. Hydrogen tank, tank, okay. Filled 6.4. Okay, so they still need quite a bit of hydrogen. Filled in seven hours. Okay, we'll let those continue to fill. <clears throat> These are all the thrusters. And do we have enough ice to, what's our ice situation look like? Cause you're probably, you should, you should just be going through ice. And over here, Okay, we still got a bunch of ice. We got 554k of ice here. We've got three. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This was the thing that um, wanted to fix the inventory system. So while we're loading up a whole bunch of hydrogen, <clears throat> we're going to get rid of the sorters and we're going to use that mod. I think. I have the mod on, I don't remember now. Uh, <laughs> is there a way to see what mods are? Options, game. Can I see what mods are actually loaded into the game I'm playing? Or do I have to go back out to the main menu? I might have to go back to the main menu. <coughs> Either way, I think it's time to get rid of all of the sorters. They're just getting in the way of everything. So let's just take a look. What do we have here? Okay, we don't have any sorters hooked up on here. I think I got rid of the sorter over here for now. You're connected up. Is there, there's no sorter there. Okay, so we do have a bunch of sorters here. So I'm going to get rid of you. And then we're going to replace you with just tubes. Oh, not tube pipe. Okay, let's put you on there. Oh, I guess we should. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to control P. Oh. Control gets that up. 
Shift P paints it. I forget what the control is. Uh, let's go into F1. Basic controls. I think, I do think my, my HUD settings were changed. Let me go back. Graphics. Display. Oh. Maybe it's the game. UI. Background opacity. I want a little bit. HUD. Scale. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Now let's bring that up a little bit so we get a bit of. I don't know. We'll see if that helps us at all. And then I was trying to remember. Hey, Cell, welcome. How you doing? <coughs> welcome to the chat. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to how to take the color that I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, paint, background, toolbars, miscellaneous view, views in advanced, or gameplay. General color picker. The P color picker. Shift P pick color from cube. Middle mouse color a block. Is it shift P? I uh, didn't find just saw the boreal lights outside. Ooh, nice. P is pick color. Shift P is color from cube. So if I go shift P, there we go. And then I can color that one and then let's put you back in place here. We don't have quite enough to actually fill that. Oh, what do I have in my inventory? This is interesting. Obviously not motors. I have a whole bunch of these guys. Computers, interior plates. Well, let's just go. <clears throat> I should be able to grab from wherever I am now once I get these things. So if I, okay, what do I need here? Grab you. And then if now, if I just go here and say, thank you. Okay. And then same with this. Let's just grind you down. And then we'll put in this guy. Take what I need. All right, so that takes care of those ones. Those, those are just now connected up, which means we're probably, we're, we've got overkill now on the, uh, on the tubing here, but whatever. All of these things are fully, fully done up now. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this stuff and we'll, re we'll fix everything we need to with the mod later once I make sure that that's installed and oh really didn't I just grab some stuff oh there we go it's funny how a tube takes different things than the sorters do like I can't grind down a sorter and then inventory full. oops Do you want to put all of this stuff in here, though? So, uh, alt. There we go. Let's pick up these plates. Uh, 
Uh, I seen. Hey, how's it going? Subscribe to tier one. Nice. 15 months. Wow. <laughs> uh, did you get the script sorted then? Well, it has to do different things from a sorter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they really are quite different. So yeah, I'm not, I, I don't remember if I've actually installed the, the thing. I, I might have to go back out and, um, put it on, but that we're going to do that this time around. We're going to get the script installed and we're going to get this thing just going, uh, normally. Or not normally, but we're gonna get rid of all these things, huh? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just put what I can into that. And then I'm gonna dump all of this stuff again. Cause I do like, like I do want certain, I like that, that things will move to the right places, but I hate that I can't pick stuff out from wherever I am. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, hi. There's a bunch of ice in that. Okay, so let's grab what we need for you, need for you, what we need for you. And then let's just put everything I have in here and then let's grab, grab what I need for all of that stuff. Cannot withdraw to medical. What's in my blueprint planner? What? Why are you? A Okay, interesting. I want you, and you, and you. Okay, interesting. Did grab what I needed for all of those things. Uh, okay, something weird was happening with my blueprint printer. Abnormally. Now let's get rid of this, this beautiful chunk of ice. <clears throat> I'll just stick it in here for now. Did I just drop a bunch of actual components in here though? No, okay, good, just the ice. But do we have sorters over here still? We do, we're gonna have to get rid of those. <clears throat> let's go fill up. go. All right. So what do I need? Need stuff for this. So if I go pipe, pipe, and I take what I need, I would fly back. Uh, da, 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 five. Okay. So that's all of that. How are we looking? Okay, there are there are more connection points down here. Now, I put a lot of this stuff in because I was trying to allow for all this sorting to happen. But if everything is connected at the top, I don't think I even need this here. Like I can just get rid of it and not put anything back. Like same with this pipe, I can just get rid of this. And just leave it connected from the top. <clears throat> Okay, and then we've got these three guys here. And these guys were like forcing it all through, but again, I don't know if I need to worry about all of that. Uh, these ones, I don't know if I need to worry about them in general right now. Well, actually, if I want to pull stuff, these will stop me from pulling stuff, won't it? So if I just go into here and I say comp, we'll just pull everything into there. Oh yeah, I'm out of this as well. So now if I go H2, load you up, pull you back. And so our, our tanks are just going big old tube. <laughs> so I'm right now I'm like, I'm doing this work while we're waiting for the actual hydrogen tanks and this thing to load up. So they are like the batteries are full. But the tanks, and I don't think I can actually see that. Here we are. Oh. That looks, doesn't that mean it's full? It looked like it was needed a lot more. Uh, let's go 
we'll show everything and let's say, oh no, I was showing everything. Let's go um, tank. Build 9%, build 9%. So it says here there's only 9% fuel in these tanks. Those indicators though look like there's lots more. Maybe I just don't know what the colors mean anymore. <laughs> Does that just mean that they're online but they're not filled? I'm not sure. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess you can't really trust blinking lights. <laughs> when you set to stockpile it shows all blue dots because it won't give any okay so it's showing all the blue dots because i've got it on stockpile but it, so i can't see how fill how filled it is though by just looking at the dots anyhow so we're only at nine percent um so we have to let that fill up uh <clears throat> so let's let's just get rid of all of these these guys here for now, and then we'll just connect them up with a pipe. Okay, and uh, three. Okay, on this guy. Oh, oops, I'm supposed to put down enough to get it going first. It's just an interior plate, okay. Uh, can I just go? Okay. And then let's get rid of you. Okay, and then I want to... Oh, that's the wrong... I, I did the wrong thing. Let's just put everything back there. And then let's go... Okay, so they're all connected now. Uh, da, 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 da. How many H2O2 gens do you have? Not nearly enough. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, my own rule of thumb is about six gens per tank, depending on how quickly you want them to fill. That's a lot of generators. I don't have the patience to wait around usually. <laughs> well... I think I've got one gen on the actual spaceship and then I've got one gen right here. So it probably would be easy enough just to add a few more gens right here, right? So if I just go... Like that. And then... H2O2 gen. We can just put them beside each other. We can put one there. Whoops, I fell down a hole. One there. So one, two, three on this side. And then actually I could just do the same thing on this side for symmetry. And then we'll just connect them up the same way. So I want one, two, three, right? So let's put, uh, I want everything I need for this. Grab it. Okay. And then. Uh, 
one, two, three, as many as you need. <laughs> well, yeah, I got three over there, and then we'll have to connect this one up as well. Uh, so let's grab what we need for this. That should get you to space before the end of the stream, at least. I hope so. Do I not have... Okay, all components. I'm in a... I'm in a decent space... Uh, dif decent spot right now for resources, I think, so... This should just help us go through all of the ice and load things up. There, now we're not gonna have a problem. Oh wait, we gotta actually hook this up though, don't we? Uh, four, Eve. Okay, what do I actually, do I actually, no, okay. Oh my God. There we go, okay, so we just need some interior plates. All right, so first of all, let's put one, two, and then we need a curved one. You said six. Now we got six. <laughs> Seven, actually, because there's one on the ship as well. There we go. And they're all connected beside each other here and then connected there. So that should all, that should all just work, right? We got ice, ice, baby. They're all working on ice. All right, let's see what this thing looks like now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, yeah, let's just go sit in the seat. Okay. Uh, what are we looking like for production and tank? They're going, but I don't know. Is that, is that a lot faster? Well, filled in two hours, I guess. I think it was originally saying like seven hours. So I think that helped. It's going to take a little while. All right. Well, we'll let that fill. At least it should fill a lot faster than it was going to fill. <clears throat> so, uh, next thing is... Uh, da, 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 da. Let me look at... Um, let's see if we can get that, that, uh, that mod working. I go and I look at my I'm just going to make sure I've got it in my workshop here, subscribed to it. Yeah, so I was going to use this Izzy's Inventory Manager is the one that I was looking at. I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. And I don't think I've got that. It's subscribed, but so if I just... Okay, we're gonna save. And then we're gonna come out of here. Next to the main menu. And we're gonna take a look at what mods I've got installed for the game. Okay, uh, so I've got fancy. Do, 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 do. I don't have that one installed, so. Where's Izzy? Oh, is Izzy's a mod? Okay, it's not actually a mod, right? It's a 
programmable block thing. I don't actually need to install it from here. So there you go, that's the mods I'm using. <laughs> uh, so let's just load back into the game. You were at 9%, it's significantly faster. You can see like 0.1 movement. Outsource in your management already. <laughs> uh, you It used to just be a script in programmable. Yes. Okay. So we'll go back into that. Okay. We're back in. Nothing blew up. Good. Okay. So we need, I think I did put a programmable block over here. And now I have to remember actually how to do any of this stuff. So script. Content, no content. To custom data. Is there an interface to like to do this in game or do I have to like copy and paste it in to the custom data block? I thought you could pick from a list. So content script or text so if I go script. Like I don't want any of these bending. I not, I don't think I'm doing any of this right. Help me. Uh, there is a way to do it in game. Not hundred percent sure exactly. Hey Alfie, welcome. Do you have an in-game scripts enabled in world settings? And you need experiment. I have experimental mode turned on, but maybe I don't have that other thing. Uh, so let's go out of here. And then we'll go back to the, can I do that from options or do I have to do that from from outside the game. You have to do it from load game. Okay. All right, back up we go. Okay, so load game from like the edit settings here. From load game, edit setting, advanced. Da, da, da. Load game. Advanced. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay. Uh, da, da, enable. In game scripts, that one. While we're here, is there anything else that I should be fixing? Enable spectator. That seems like a thing I should do. Don't think I want cargo ships, right? Are they still super laggy? All right. Now nah, add cargo ships. Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Uh, and then we go back into the game. They don't, they don't lag you anymore like that. All right, I just, that's I remember them being like something you always turned off back when I was playing before. All right, we're back in the game. Scripting features. 
Okay, well, we'll see if I can remember how this works or, or read, read this thing as we go. All right, so let's load this up and then programmable block. Edit. Browse scripts. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, Izzy's inventory manager. That's what I want. Copy. Oh, okay. This is, and I, I, I grabbed his solar alignment one as well for when we, uh, when we work on that. So copy to editor, and then I have to go check code, right? And then go, okay, to load it. Um, although there are some things we can do. Okay. So define the keywords for cargo containers to or a cargo container has to contain in order to be recognized as a container to of the given types. Okay, so we want ores, ingots, components, tools. Okay, that's that's basically what I need to do, right? Is name. So if I was to do I have to do I have to run this thing or is it just good? Argument. Run. Task. Oh my goodness, what is it doing? <laughs> okay, uh, so we want this one to be called components. Okay, good. I got that in there. So all the components should be going to that. By default, Izzy will set a lot of this up itself. You'll see it already renaming your containers. So what is this thing called? Ingot. Large. Okay, but it actually needed to be called ingots, right? And ores. Um, contain... So... Components, ingots, ingots. Large container tools, ammo bottles. Was oh, it that that must have been a rename that it did, huh? Interesting. It should be ores. Ores. Ores bang! <laughs> uh also, if you add multiple tags, it will put things in there, like the weapons and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that means it's putting those things in there because they were already in the container. Right. Okay. Yeah. It tries to make a tools ammo bottle container. Cool. Interesting. Oh, we've got a large container that doesn't have any... Doesn't know what this one should be. Oh, wait. Did it rename stuff to... Hmm. This one's called ingots. This one should be ingots. Is it messing up because I've got uh, square braces? Like, is that a bad... Is that a bad thing? What did it name this one? Large container. Ingots, large container. Okay, so I want this one to be, instead of this, I don't want this one to be tools, ammo bottles, right? I want, so if I copy, if I delete that from here and I make this one. Like does, uh, I want this one to be components, but I also want all of this stuff in here. Okay. And then this one should be ingots. Okay, this one doesn't have a name anymore. Is it having trouble because there's multiple containers named ingots 
Oh, and it renamed it to Ingot's Bang. What is this one called? Ingot's. So I'm assuming the Bang is like the the primary one. I don't think it likes braces with... I don't think the braces will bother Izzy, but it will start adding labels to containers if you run out of room or have one missing like the tools one. Okay. So this one is still called ingots. one is now oh, it's lost the name again like it's removing those names it likes to have at least one of each type to start with Just kind of going around through all of its scripts. Build a LCD and add the name, the main LCD keyword to its name to get more information about the base and its current scripts and actions. I should probably do that. Let's make a LCB, LCD panel. Okay, where do we want to put it? How, what do we have for sizes? Does it matter? Trans oh, this is a transparent LCD. I don't know if that's what I want. Uh, LCD. Transparent LCD. LCD panel. Wide panel. Sci-fi LCD panel. 5x5, 5x3, 3x3. Uh, if it's empty, it will remove the tag. You can disable that in the program block. Edit under auto container assignment. Ooh. So if there's nothing in there, it'll kill it unless I change that setting. Uh, okay. Ores, ingots, components, tools, ammo, and bottles. Uh, d d d energy low. Energy low. Locked container keywords. Locked seat control station. Keyword a block name has to contain to be skipped by the sorting. Hidden treat no treat not shown as hidden. False. No no sorting keyword. Keyword for containers to disable sorting. Keyword for do, do, do. balance type containers. Show fill level. Fill bottles. Auto container assignment. True. Assign new containers. True. Unassign empty containers. This is probably what I want. Unassign empty type containers that aren't needed anymore. At least one of each type always remains. This doesn't touch containers with manual priority tokens like P1. Okay, so I'm going to say this is false. Sign ores and ingot containers as one. Ores, ingots in one. True. Assign ores and ingots containers as one. Do I want to change that to false? Is that saying that ores and ingots will be in the same container? Okay. So if we do that, then uh, I still need to get the right 
LCD, LCD. Let's get rid of this one. LCD panel. Let's just grab one of those for the moment. Can I place it? So if I go, I want stuff. And maybe just, we'll put it there for now. Let's see. Turn that on. And what did I need in the name for that? Energy critical. Oh, energy critical. Sure. Uh, yeah, ores and ingots would be in the same container, I think. I'm a bit behind in the stream now. <laughs> no worries. Yes, ores, ingots in one container. If you want them separate, turn that off. Yep, I want that separate. Okay. Uh, 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 edit. Do, do, do. Sign ores and ingots containers as one. Okay, and then, oh, what's the name? Is that, okay, I wanna, let's go back into the thing and just copy that text, because the font of is hard to tell what, okay, so where was the LCD thing? Does it show that in here, LCD? LCD, an LCD. Oh, this is auto crafting. Oh my goodness, what is, what is auto crafting all about? Refinery handling. Oh my goodness. H2O2 generation handling, reactor handling, assembly, slumber cleanup. Internal item sorting. Wowzers. End configuration. Don't change anything beyond this point. Okay. Uh, LCD panels. Okay. I want this. Can I... Select this. Copy it. I don't know if I can actually select this. So is that L? Is that I I M dash main? I I M dash main. Inventory. Oh, okay. So main LCD. Inventory LCD. Warnings LCD. Performance LCD. Oh yeah, it would be right. Like Izzy's inventory management. So I I M. Da, da, da. Adding IIM tag for LCD. The other LCD tag you can use is auto crafting. Then set levels for components to always be available. Wow. Okay. Uh, so IIM main, and then there's inventory warnings and performance. Okay, I don't remember if I changed anything, so we'll just make make it go. Okay. Well, let's start by just. Naming this one and seeing what it's... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, can I not? Okay, so we'll call this one. Uh, management. So main? Aha! Managed blocks. Last action. Well, that's kind of neat. I feel like I could make a bit of a LCD panel here. Like if I go, I want some of these. Or if I just, uh, maybe I'll put it over here. I'll, I'll make like a, a bit of a wall here. Uh, OK, 
can I put, uh, let's see here, LCD7. Does it have to go up against uh, a wall? Nope, okay. So I could go like LCD panel, LCD. Oh, I need more interior plates. LCD panel. Okay. So if we put the main one in the middle, actually there were there were like four of them, right? Well, if we leave the the main one right here underneath. What were all of the different panels? Da, da, da. Let's go back down. Auto crafting. Reactor, internal sorting. Okay, so there was the main, then there was inventory warnings and performance. Inventory warnings and performance. So I'm thinking, let's call this, um, warnings. Did I get that right? Oh, there we go. No problems detected. Okay, and I'll make this one the main one and I'll make this one inventory. Uh, so if I change this to I, I am um, in inventory, that you should change. There we go. And then we'll change you to Uh, da, da. It might need LCD on there as well. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I figured it out. You gonna do your thing? There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that shows me that, and then it's over here. It's showing me performance indicators, and then over here, it's showing me put an item type. What is this for? Put an item type name or echo command in the custom data optionally optionally add a max amount ingot 1000 oh my goodness uh, I think it's just the time it takes to tick it up yeah wow there's lots there's lots this this is there's lots to this mod Wow. Okay, so let's name the no handling, five modifiers, optional, no handling, single line, no bar, no scroll, hide empty. Examples, component, 1000, no bar. Put an item, is this just an instructions or, is, or does this change if I actually start to display multiple different items? Oh, is this what I put in? Oh, this is what I put in the custom data of this panel. Components, component ingot, steel plate. So if I wanted, uh, so like in the custom data, I go, like, steel plates. Oh, jeez. That's neat. That's to set up multiple displays so each display can show different things like ores, ingots, and components separately. 
Well, it ain't, ain't that nifty. Like I could put these on the actual, like, so like as you walk up, like this one is all about components, right? So I could like list the components in this so I can just walk up and see what I've got. And then I could do, I could do that on like these other ones here for, for like ingots and, huh, ain't that neat. So I want this one to be, so this one's called ingots. And then I want this one to be ingots as well. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't do that. So ingots. So it should put ingots in here and in here now, right? And it shouldn't rename it anymore. And then these, these three should be like or ores, and I don't want tools, ammo, or bottles on this one. Oh, I've got a sorter there still. And then this guy should be ores as well. And then this guy should be ores as well. Right. Whoops, that's not what I tried to do. There we go. So let's go flip this out of here. And so now if I was to just drop everything into here, grab what I need and fill this up. Low. Bill planner is empty. Oh, okay. That grab it, fill. Okay, but now it should have moved everything out of here, right? Very good. And it should put it all down over here. And we, I'll go look because I got to refill anyway. Neato. Yeah, this is pretty neat. By default, it will almost fill one container type before using the next. You need to turn on balance type containers if you want to use all equally. Let's try it. Edit. Uh, so there was like a... I remember seeing that balance thing. Enable auto crafting. Special load, allow special steel. Binary handling. Did I go past it? Balance time container near the top. Europe. Uh, lock containers, hidden containers, treat, no sorting, balance type containers. Okay, do your thing. So this one is the only component one, right? Looks like it's got everything in here. It's got the bottles in here. Yay, move the bottles. Nice. So now if I go back and I look at this guy, you have a bunch of stuff and you are ingots, about 10% and you have a bunch of stuff. Well, in that nifty. I likes it. That's a pretty sweet mod. And then you're just working away. Um, for now, I don't know if I need to do anything special with these because they've they've all got all of the mo all of the the same upgrades and everything. But and there's not they're not working on anything at the moment. Is there something I should do with the refineries? In your opinion? So it says ores. 
14%. This one says... Okay, 14%. So yeah, so it moved everything around. And the only thing we've got right now is ice. So it put ice in all of them. Look at that. That's super cool. Uh, good thing Alfie has actually used this before. Yeah, thank you, Alfie. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so we got this connected. Oh, we got these containers too. Um, but I don't actually want them to use these for anything unless it's overflow, right? So I think there was like a command for that. Right now I've got cobalt listed here. I hope that doesn't mess with it. Because this was like my cobalt mine, which is why I named it that. Uh, same with the one over here, I think was like iron. Yeah. So if I just get rid of, just leave it small container. Just, just get rid of any, any possible confusion. There we go. All right, so I think that's that for now. I mean, we can uh, balance out. Uh, Izzy will manage refineries, H2O2 gen, etc. by default. Okay, cool, cool. I guess let's just make sure that I don't have any weird naming Whoop. on the refineries. So let's go. off refinery you know let's uh let's just call this refinery we'll just name them all refinery for now and then it can manage them cool cool it might have already renamed all of these yeah refinery rare refinery okay let's just leave those as refinery and it can manage them how it pleases and then these are just a bunch of probably just named h2o2 generator Oh, yeah. For now, I'm just gonna get rid of the numbers. I don't really care. For now, there we go. That one's the one that's on the actual ship. Actually, uh, tank. How are we looking? 33%! Uh... Da, 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 da. Want to try auto crafting? Add auto crafting to an LCD, and it will give you it will give you a list with have want. We'll try to keep a base level of components. Okay, well let's see. Let's we're, we're still waiting for this stuff to load, so might as well mess around with something, right? So. Maybe like this one here, I was just messing with. So we can use that one for now. Let me just go take a quick peek at what it says in here for auto crafting. Auto crafting. Enable auto crafting. So right now, enable auto crafting is true. Enable auto disassembling is false. Auto crafting keyword is auto crafting. An LCD with the keyword auto crafting is required where you can set the wanted amount. This has multi LCD support. Just append numbers after the keyword, like LCD auto crafting one, LCD auto crafting two. If you want an assembler to only assemble or only disassemble, use the following keywords in its name. Assemble only, assemble only. Okay, cool. Um, you can teach the script new crafting recipes by adding one of the following tags to the to the assembler's name. This is needed if the auto crafting screen shows no BP for an item. So learn, learn many. Oh wow. Default modifier. It's like it's can't quite tell, just an empty empty string. Um, assemble margin, disassemble margin, show auto crafting modifiers, split. Oh, wow. Okay. So it is, auto crafting is enabled, and I just need to put, so like LCD auto craft, let's see what, so if I just go on this guy for now, then we go 
LCD auto crafting one. Uh, give it give you a list with one da, 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 the new recipe money get rid of the one auto craft probably have to do more than that right Oh, I need a capital A auto crafting. That's what I did wrong. Uh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, might need to clear the custom data that you added to that LCD. Well, it looks like something happened as soon as I put a capital A. Current wanted. So did it set it by default to just like be what I actually had? Assemble only this modifier is append after wanted amount. So now if I go into here, did it set that up in the custom data? Oh yeah, no. So I should get rid of this, right? Uh, component. Uh, looks like it. Wanted current. Auto crafting. Title craft item manually once. To show up here. Go to textures. Oh, okay. So this is where I would go. So now I can actually just set these values. Okay. So in LCD, edit text and change the want value. As you make items not on the list, they will be added as well. Well, ain't that nifty. Bulletproof glass. So steel plates. So if I say, I always want to have a thousand steel plates and... Say a thousand of these semi auto. Uh, I don't know if I want any of that yet. Uh, oxygen model motors. Let's say we always want 500 motors. We want a thousand grids. Large tubes. We'll say 500 of those. Interior plates, we're going to go 2,000 of those, and actually we're going to want 2,000 of these. Think of it as a minimum stock level. When you use components, it will make... Yeah, you got it. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, hydrogen bottles. Um, like, if, if it has three, and I just say one, right? Like, I don't need it to make any more of these things for now. Um, uh girders i probably want at least 500 of those and then displays let's say 250 of those construction components yeah we always need lots of those so let's keep 2000 of those on hand computers we're gonna keep 500 of these on hand okay this mod is awesome Kay. energy low set that for now and then it's just to start making stuff huh Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, I guess I should also make sure that I don't have anything like set up to be like uh, enable or disable cooperative mode. No, wait, is that. Is 
those I think I'm not set up in cooperative mode, right? Okay. So it's just it's just going through and it's making stuff. And then this will just update to show me how much it has. Oh! Oh look at that! I put a little A, so it's actually it's, it's telling me it's queued up. How much it's queued up. Okay, that's that's super cool. Um, I've always wanted to set it up for me myself as well, but I never took the time to learn it. Well, hey, I'm giving, I, I, I'm learning, we're learning together here. Now you can set it up. That This is actually really simple once, like, there's there's a few, a little bit of reading to do, um, but then, yeah, like, this, this is, and it's really helpful when you have somebody who's just showing you how it's done. So thank you, Alfie. Um... I think Izzy ignores co-op mode as it shares load itself. Cool. I like that. Uh, very simple. Almost took... Almost took an hour. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot, a lot of that is me, not the script. <laughs> as I was learning as I went... This is neat. I like this, though, too, where it's showing, like... Okay, cool. Now it shows, okay, I got three ore containers and 10% load on all of them. I've got two ingot, so yeah, three ore containers, two ingot containers, one component, one tool, one ammo, one bottle. Now those are all the same ones, but balancing on. Oh, it tells you that right there. Uh, managed blocks, 46 inventories total, 13 have items to sort. Four, reti four refineries, or balancing is on. Seven H2O2 generators, ice balancing is on. Two assemblers, crafting is on. Uncraft is off. Energy Cleanup critical. is on. Last action. Oh, look at that. Moving. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I'd need this necessarily, but um, I just wanted to see what it was. It's cool. And this, if there's any actual problems, then they just plop up here. Okay, that's super cool. I think this might be a necessary, a necess, a necessity, a necessary mod um, on any base I make from here on out. Uh, I'm playing on the Never Surrender at the moment, so I don't think it has scripts enabled. Was oh, that one of those scenarios? Never Surrender. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Let's take a look at our. Uh, da, da, da. Tanks. How are our tanks doing? 40%. So there's still a little bit of time before this thing is ready to fly. So actually, but I do need to think about, so what are we going to build in space? So what I, the, the goal number one, when we fly this thing up, the idea is that this is just a reusable rocket and the idea is it's it takes stuff from the planet to space or vice versa right so it can load up the cargo container bring stuff up into space or if you're mining in space it can dr bring stuff back down and then fill up the base and vice versa so to do that in space i will need a basic setup right so i need to make sure that i put enough components on it to get that basic setup going. Uh, script, do, 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 not mod. Uh, it's a, it's the endless wave scenario. I'm still a bit, I'm still in the build up stage. Ooh, I've never tried it. Uh, that's why I said six per tank. Oh, you said six per tank. Right, I, I was just thinking like six in general, but no, you're right, you said six per tank. Um, and I've got, seven basically going for what two tanks uh you need a miner for platinum and uranium also does that ship have parachutes that's a <laughs> uh this ship was made before parachutes and i did not put his parachute on it my plan was to land it like a like an elon musk rocket right where you just come back down and you and you do a suicide burn and you go right here perfect no problem nothing bad will happen I think parachute might be a good idea. <laughs> um, and my my platform is like exactly the right size. 
Um, I also wanted to color code the spots where the, uh, like, like actually um, build up this and then color code where the feet need to go so that I have a visual indicator when I'm landing, which makes me also think that I probably should have like a camera on the rear somewhere so that I could actually watch myself land. Uh, <laughs> it should be plenty for now, at least gives you time to do other stuff. Yeah, that's true enough. Yeah, so I need a miner for platinum and uranium. That's very true, but uh, yeah. First thing is first though, I think what I'm gonna try and do is just, just make a little platform that I can use in space. And then this thing will just go between the plat the space platform and, and here, back and forth, right? Uh, and then from the platform, I'll make a little miner that can fly off, get what it needs, comes back. But we'll see. I mean, I guess, I mean, I could just put like a drill right on the top of this thing too. Um, once we get these, because yeah, we can't actually fly around yet in space, right? Because I don't, oh, I guess hydrogen, you can fly around with hydrogen, right? You don't need the ions. The ion is just um, more effective. How's my... Oh yeah, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, H2 is the best thrust for anywhere unless you are going to run out of ice. Oh, really? And there's a lot of, there's a lot of ice in, on asteroids in space too, right? At least there was, I don't know, is that still true? So like this thing has everything we need to survive. To start with, right? But what I would basically need if I want to, so let's go sit in the cockpit on this ship. Oh, actually, here's a question. So when this thing is connected and I have a, a cargo container on this ship, if I was to like move stuff onto this, would Izzy just take it and put it back over there? So there's probably, there must be a way to tell it to ignore what's, like, ignore what's in this one. Asteroid ore density has changed a bit since the survival overhaul. Much less ore and ice in space now. Oh, yeah, because that used to be, like, the BL all Like, if you were in space, you had everything. Let's go sit in this seat for a moment. And if I bring this up and I say car uh, container. So this is my local container. You can see the names of all of the stuff. Uh, yep, Izzy will suck stuff back out unless you tag the container with locked or similar. Uh, you still do just harder to find, and now you really want to find an ice asteroid. They are the best. They are the best. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so I want to put like lock. Well, actually, here I can just go. Um, go to the programmable block, and then locked. Here we go. Yeah. So it's capital L. So locked containers, keywords. Locked seat control station. Oh, I see, cool. So it looks for these things. Uh, so like if you have a seat, or like it won't pull stuff out of those as well. So I wanna call this one locked. Okay. So go back to you. And container. Let's go locked. 
Okay. And then now I can go to inventory and we go to go here. QP is what I used. So if I go QP and over here we go components. All right. So if I, here's a, actually, I don't know how this works. If I've got a locked container attached to the grid, let's say I, so right now it's, so it, it just finished making, so I've got 2000 steel plates, right? So if I was to take 2000 steel plates, and put them in here, bonk, will it think I need 2000 more steel plates because this one's locked or does it still include that in the total base? Amount. Uh, you still do just hard. Okay, I read that one. So, um, okay, so I want a bunch of steel plates, and I'm gonna want probably. I'm gonna need a bit of everything, right, to build up there. So I wonder if I should, like again, the question too is, is like, I, I have not, I've never tested this um, rocket yet. So what do you guys think? Should I just try and load this thing up with all kinds of stuff and then see if I can take off? Or should I leave it empty and just test the rocket and then come back? Is there an easy way to, to test out how much it can lift without Without worrying too much, um, it's it includes them in the total count, but as soon as you disconnect, it will tip. It will start making more again. Okay, uh, you still do 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 do. Okay, like if I was just to say, okay, if I grab all of this, put it. So just grab all of this. So we've got 71,000 uh, liters. What else would I need to build in space, right? Uh, what are the things that I would want to have in space? So if I go to build, build planner? No, uh, small blocks, large blocks. There are scripts that can tell you if your ship can fly, reach space or good old fashioned, try it and see. <laughs> That's probably what we're going to do It's a good old fashioned, try it and see. Um, uh, like I probably want to make sure I can build a Control, say industrial, cockpit. There's quite a few blocks actually. Wow. Okay, so I definitely want to make a, like a, a, like a place to refill all my stuff up there if I need to, right? Like I know the ship can do it, but like to make a, Silver, huh? A decorative state, decorative station that allows engineers to maximize their injury. But the components look quite a bit different between these two things. The medical room looks like it takes quite a bit more than the medical station. Does the medical room let you do a lot more? Enables you to respawn. So this maybe this one doesn't doesn't let you respawn and stuff. Okay. So like if I want this, I go click, make that. So it's gonna make medical components. Okay, yeah, so I needed medical components. Let's make sure that like some of the basics. What else? So we want medical components, uh, like uh, is there anything like, other than what I've got listed here, right? Is there anything else that I'll need to just build a basic base up there? 
seems like a decent amount, huh? And then everything should just go in here, so I'm just gonna pull all of this over when when it's done building. Metal groom is quicker to heal, fill up, and let you change suit cosmetics. Survival kit is good enough to start with. Yeah. Right, yeah. Metal groom is just faster, right? <laughs> Survival kit does all the basics, but the medical room is faster. So we'll let this finish constructing. How are we doing for... Uh, tank? Whoa, what just happened there? Okay. How, how are we doing here? Hey, hey, we just hit 50% on both those tanks. What does it take to make... So one of the things, if I go to production and I'm like, hey, I want to build a large drill. Like, it tells me what I need for materials. Is it? Does it tell you anywhere, like, what inventory you need to make this? Show this assembler in the inventory screen. Show this assembler in the control panel. Just to know, like, did I, do I have enough? I guess the G menu is the only, like, I could go to the G menu for that, right? Um, uh, drill. And here it shows me the components I need. So it needs 300 steel plates. Okay, so they, 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 they take quite a few steel plates, like 2,000 steel plates. I'll go through that real quick, is what I'm feeling. Uh, so we're an hour to fill left. Okay. Just when you use G menu. Okay. So if I wanted to build a little, a little platform up there for my ship to dock to, and I wanted, to, yeah, like I'm gonna need a lot more stuff than I'm bringing with me, right? Like drill, and then if I wanted like a cargo container, that's. Why isn't it showing me? There we go. Why isn't it changing what it's showing me over here? Am I doing this wrong? Jump out of your seat and use the G menu. Oh, be, uh, I, right. It's because I'm in the seat. I'm seeing the G menu for the seat. <laughs> right. So drill, boom, 300 plates. Thank you. I was being, a, I was being an idiot. Um, and then container, where's my large? Oh yeah, so that's like another 300, a bunch of construction components. Yeah, I, I, oh, that's interior plates. Hmm. Yes. So I'm wondering if <clears throat> I should just modify this to have like a drill on the front. This thing is not really designed for anything other than just getting up there. Like there's not really a good spot to put anything on it. Um, so I'm going to need more stuff than I think I have. For sure. Just grab some hydrogen. There we go. So if we get back into here and let's go to the... So we've only got that over there and then we go... Components. I'm going to take all of this as well, because I can. But I'm going to need, like, 
quite a bit more steel plates at a minimum. Although I'm going to run out no matter what I do. Uh, doesn't Izzy's script have a thing for getting components for a blueprint? Or am I thinking of something else? Not in Izzy, but there are scripts for blueprint to LCD assembler. Plus Anubis would have to make a blueprint of what he wants to build up there first. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess that's another idea, right? Is like I could go into like creative, we could design something. Um, but I don't know, this seems like it could be fun. Uh, it's You said like it was another hour still, right? To, to get this thing filled. This You're right. I'm tired of waiting. Let's uh, just make a whole bunch more. I can put a whole another line of these things behind this one. Or even just, so you do, do, do. So I've got six here. I could put another three behind, three behind. So let's, let's do that. And then we can just have these tubes because they, oh yeah, they're on the bottom. But I could do them in reverse here. So if I go you, you and you. And then if we go, oh, but I need, oh, uh, I guess they don't need to be connected together because they're connected through these tubes, right? So if I just go boom, like that, what do I need? Steel plates. No, that did not get me what I needed. Whoops. Just grab a few of those for the moment. It always ends up being about six gems per tank. Oh yeah, so if I go boom, and then boom, and then boom, there'll be six on this side. You put all the steel plates on the ship, yeah. Uh, Yep, build info was showing one hour ten to fill. You can you can't auto pull from another inventory, unfortunately. Oh right, right, because it's on a separate grid. I keep forgetting about that. Um, so if I go back into here and then let's just undo what I did, lock, uh, and I go back over to here and I say comp, and let's just go. Actually, I want to do it the other way around. I want to go comp, then I want to go lock. And then I just can double click, move it all back for now. So we can grab out what we need when it's time. And now if I go that over there and then let's chop these guys down. Oh, I am, uh, do I have that set up right? I do, okay, let's go you there. Get some stuff out of my inventory. what I have in my inventory is probably all the wrong thing. So let's drop that all off. And then I want to make you, make you, make you. Uh, you can't auto pull from another inventory unfortunately. Yeah, you can pull as long as it's on the same grid, right? If as soon as you go through like a connector, then you can't pull. Easy inventory mod uses, uh, used to pull from subgrids, but build planner vanilla doesn't. Aha. Uh -huh. On the same grid only. Yaw. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, did I run out of steel plates?
And it's trying to re keep those things stocked, right? But it's just a matter of, like, what's in front. What is it saying there? Steel plates. So I need to have 2,000. Like I should be able to pull from this one, right? Okay, so they are all... So they're connected. Blue, blue, blue. They're connected. Very good. They all look good. Okay, so now if I want... Let's kill this guy. Okay, and then... Oh, I need steel plates. Do, do, do. Wait till he finds out he broke the connection. <laughs> hey, Gary! Unfortunately, you died, Anubis. Oh, no. What did I... Where did I die? <laughs> uh, where did I break the connection? Or did I re rebuild it now by putting those things back in place? Is that what I was doing wrong? Oh, is it is it in your XCOM game that I died, Gary? I am I'm not cut up on that one. Go go go. Okay, how's this looking? Oh, I need one more steel plate. Okay, they are all connected now and hopefully they are all working. So I should be able to go in to here and see, yeah, like a whole bunch of generators that are now created. Oh, playing Dwarf Fortress. Oh yeah, I saw you starting playing that. I haven't seen any of it yet uh, on your channel. And I was using Auto Nick to name dwarves after followers. Yours was unfortunately part of the military <laughs> as a uh, forgotten beast arrived. A big shrimp that ki that kick exploded your head. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, I'm okay, because that's an epic death, and I'm okay with an epic death. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I know Sal plays a ton of uh, Dwarf Fortress, right? Uh, you're, you're playing a little... Is, are you new to it, or have you played it before? Like, what do you, what's your feel for the game? I know, like, Sal is just all over it, so... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's take a look and see how quickly this thing is loading up now. I, I didn't have to go in here, I guess, to check on the tank. I could have done it from where I was, but whatever. Meow, look at it go. <laughs> 29 minutes. Uh... If only we could have gotten some helmets before. Yeah, helmets sound like they would have been a good idea. Um, I'm playing it for uh, now. I am playing it for years. Uh, a just too much a variety to play one game forever. Yeah, no, I hear ya. I hear ya. I haven't played this one in forever myself, which is why I'm getting back into it. Uh, okay. So we're down to about 30 minutes before the thing is loaded up. So. We could uh, drive over and get a bit more gold and silver. Upgrade the, uh, the, the, the mining rig over there a little bit. 
This thing isn't connected at the moment. This thing just loaded up. If I drive all the way over there though, what, six clicks away, will this stop loading? I can't, is there like a distance thing? I, I remember there used to be where stuff would be like unloaded or whatever while you're too far away. Or is that a thing? I wouldn't want to go over there, do a bunch of stuff, come back and it's still like 20 minutes, you know, 30 minutes away. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, this is actually, let's go check on our power situation. Fully depleted in 34 minutes. Uh, that's not good. Hey, you know what? Actually, let's upgrade this a little bit. I had, I, I saw something, I was watching some sp uh, splitsy stuff and I saw him do a thing, uh, which I liked. So, what do I have in my inventory? Okay, let's go to components. Uh, let's just drop everything back off. And I want some of these. So let's just grab a hundred of those and hundred of those to start with. And then what I'm gonna do is I want to get rid of these two here first, but let's go uh, for, basically what he did was he, Oh, that's what I want for. He put like a block here, right? And then, um, wind. And just by putting a block there, you can place another one like that. Now I'm not, I'm too close. I'm gonna have to spread these out a little bit more. But if you put a block all the way around, you can actually put one, two, three, four, five on, on one of these towers. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's put a block on here. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a tower right here. And I'm gonna cut this one down. And build this one up. Okay, and then let's put one of you here, one of you here. I don't know why I didn't think of this myself. Like as soon as I saw it, I'm like, uh, that makes so much sense. <sighs> Ow, that, that hurt. So yeah, basically like that. And then I can have five of them on, on one tower. Uh, hey, Spidey, don't want to alarm you, but your car is on fire. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I don't, I don't see any fire. <laughs> and the XCOM series need to go back into that. Actually, since my PC death, I didn't take the time to set that back up because of Warhammer 3 and the coming Distant Worlds 2, which I intend to devour. Nice. Yeah. I, I, I think I've, I've played, I've done what? Two full playthroughs of XCOM? I might like on my channel before I stopped over there. It might be a fun one to bring back to a stream, right? Go through and do a, do another campaign run. Um, I think Spidey, you were, you were definitely in, in those series. Uh, your character, I think. I never forget there was one episode, I think it was in the second run, where somehow I managed to save your life even though I dropped you in, like into a swarm of horrible bad guys when we were trying to sneak in and I somehow <laughs> managed to get you out without killing you. I'll never forget that. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so I'm going to just drop everything back in here for the moment. Uh, but yeah, that would be another one because I've never played it on the, like the, the hardest difficulty yet. I played it, I think the first run I played through, um, at normal difficulty and the second run I played through in the, the difficulty one lower than insanity or whatever the highest level is. Um, and so I still want to do another run where I play it on the legend. That's the one. Yeah. I haven't played, I haven't done a legend playthrough yet. 
So I think that's what I want to do next is a legend playthrough. Um, I managed to complete it twice. Uh, one at normal and one at whatever, whatever the one is right below legend. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, commander. So uh, yeah, I, I finished it at commander. All right, so let's uh, let's just go dr grind down, because this has this whole thing has to move. So let's grind this one down, and let's finish building these ones up. Okay, and then we have one over there that needs to. Yeah, X XCOM is awesome. Uh, I think I missed a comment about about this reducing power generation. Uh, I, somebody was telling me the last time that if they're vertical, like like the it's just the distance horizontally that matters. Like above it doesn't matter. So this, I guess maybe these ones might interfere with each other. I don't know. Still seems like a good idea to me. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do it this way. I guess we'll find out if it's a dumb idea later. Okay, so now I need this to be far enough away. So where is the center point? Is it like Okay, so yeah, so that's the center point right there. Oh, and of course I ran out. Uh, well, if I make a block and then if I do it like this, then it'll be three away, right? So let's just go grab some so, some plates. Uh, And let's just put all this back for now. And then let's grab. Whoop, that was not plates. Um, where are these plates there? Okay. So then, what's the distance we have here? One, two, three, four, five. So I need five in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And then we build the tower up here. Forget how tall it needs to be. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It needs to be seven tall. So, what did he do here so far? One, two, whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one more. Seven, and then we put you here. <coughs> you here. You here. Here. And then we will build this out like this. And then one, two, three, four, five, Energy six, low. seven. And then we need one there, one there there and there and then we'll go get some power uh never uh never finished the war of the chosen campaign although i started it three times because of some nonsense in the running yeah my my commander run through was war of the chosen i think my first run through was just normal XCOM. my second run through was war of the chosen at commander and then, yeah, but next time I do it, I'll, I'll do War of the Chosen with Legend. Um, and see how often I get destroyed. Um, yeah, if they overlap, they can cause some problems. Not sure if the... Not sure if the base counts. Okay. We'll find out. Uh, not to distract you even more, but the newest big patch for X4 Plus DLC is about to come out. Um, yes, X4. I know. I really do want to, I do want to play some of that. Um, I, I feel like I need to kind of get, 
a little bit of this out of my system before I dive back into X4. Just because it's... Like, that. that's definitely one where I just want to, like... I just want to, like, play it. And not really be worrying about much else than that game for a little bit. Uh, so let's go 8. Let's put... You there. At the moment, like, when I stream, that's basically all of the time that I've currently had to actually play any anything. So I've just been, for me, like, I've just been doing basically one thing for, for now. Let's just get back into this for a little bit. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, no. X4, I know I only just started playing it before my machine exploded on me. <laughs> and then I had to stop playing. Um, but... It, I am excited to get back to it at some point. No worries, just wanted to inform you. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Uh, I, I will definitely let you know, Gary, when I do that, because you were super, super helpful and super fun to uh, to play with before. So, if you're still up for that, when I do get back into it, I would love to do it like that again. Depending, of course, on timing. Make sure that we're doing it at a time that. Everybody can play. Or you can pop in and out. That also works. Um, okay. <clears throat> I like having this... Uh, even though it doesn't need to be here. It's just kind of fun to have like a little... Little thing going on. Okay, so now I want to... Can I actually? Yeah, I do have the stuff to place them. So let's just go place these. And then we'll go grab everything we need to build them all up. Oh, no, we need some more interior plates. Woo, ow. Okay. Oh, I've got a bunch of steel plates, but I don't have any interior plates. Okay, let's put those back and then let's grab. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do those back and then is it alt no. shift there no shift is 200 control Let's just grab 20 i think i don't need 20 but. uh okay Let's place you down place you down place you down and then this one oh i, I got rid of all my steel plates didn't i because i am smirt s m r t okay and I will take just a bit of those, and then we will get back over here, and we will place one there, there, and actually I can take you down, and then we will go over one there, just build up this one on the top. Uh, no worry. Do, do, do. Glad to hear that. I would, I would sure be there. Awesome. Uh, this time probably with some gameplay even. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, that sounds exciting. Exciting. So, reminds me of bulls. Excitables. It's that guy. I haven't talked to him forever. Uh. Uh, Spidey, if you're still there, are you, um, playing anything fun these days? Okay. All right. So I've got all of them scaffolded. So let's go. I need that. Whoop. And I want that. Okay. Let's go grab these components. And let's put these ones up. Uh, I'm stuck in the <laughs> Elden Ring death grind. Yeah, I've heard of that game. Um, it's, it's, it's very, what's that other one that everybody plays that like kills you over and over again and is super brutal. Um, and it's kind of like inspired by that game or made by the same people as that game. I never played it. Uh, Hello. 
Oh. Fuel critical. All right, I never filled up my bottle. Dark Souls, that's the one. Yeah, Dark Souls. I've heard so many people talk about Dark Souls and that like Elden Ring is is like by the makers of Dark Souls or inspired by Dark Souls or Dark Souls like or something like that. Um hey, why don't I have I'm not getting any hydrogen. Is like is this thing just like sucking all of the hydrogen? Oh, are we out of we're just out of ice. Um, I think that's an easy enough thing to to sort out, right? Because like we've got ice everywhere. Um, the question is, got these drills set up. The way I set these up is dumb because I can't actually make the big ring all the way up. Uh, I could just set up another... I do have another spot I need to drill to get... What was over here? Nickel. What was over here? Nickel. What's this one? Nickel. Okay, this one's far enough out. To, um, maybe I set up another drilling rig over here and I do it the way I seen you told me to do it from the beginning. And I'll get better at that. Um. Yes, Elden Ring is, uh, is from... Softer like Dark Souls games and the Demon Souls games. Same devs as Dark Souls with grrr writing for them as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that is a good thing. <laughs> so 90% of game time, nothing really happens. And in the end, a bit does. From software, from software is the studio. Oh, from software is the studio. Okay. Uh, so yeah, like I think... What was it? You were saying that I need uh, the drill. The, the initial s drill hole needs to be three, uh, three wide. Is that right? Like if I make, um, if I'm, if I go down on this rig and just do three, three from the center, right? I think is what you were saying. All right. So let's go grab. Uh, components. And let's grab some of those, some of those, and then now I can't actually, I have no hydrogen, so, um, well, actually I can't, oh no, but I can't get into it, can I? I can't, I have no way to get up. I never made a way to walk up into that, uh, into that rocket. I guess I could do that too, make a little walkway. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how hard it is to to build this rig. So if I go um, center block is right around here. So let's oh, there's another another one there. So I'm just gonna bring out from here. Whoops. And where where is our center block? Okay, so that is about center. So now if I go whoop, jump up on here. Da, 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 da. You want it at least three from the center generally. Okay, beyond petroleum is now dependable petroleum because we no longer... <laughs> Uh, turn stock stockpile off and you can refill. So we get it doubly as good then, forwards and back. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yes. All right. So if I wanted to have this to be the center, kind of like 
here is the center, let's say. So I'd need drill, 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 empty spot. So then this would be kind of like where everything would need Fuel to start. Critical. I know. Yeah, I, maybe I do need to just go turn off some of that stockpiling then. Tank, how are they doing? We got to 69 before it stopped. So if I turn stockpile off, then I can go into here. Oh, it took it away. There we go. And then if I go to here, will that fill up? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. All right. Um, but we do need ice or else we're not going to be able to fin finish filling that up. So let's do this. I am to please. Yes, I see. <laughs> uh, how close are you to your goal, Anubis? Um, what, in this run? Or, or in this stream? Like, in this stream, I want to get that rocket into space. That's, that's, that's what I want to do in this stream. Both. Okay. <laughs> in this stream, I want to get that rocket into space. And then, like, basically my goal for this run is kind of like, I want to set up a, a decent production like I've got here so that I could get to space. And then I want to do a bit of mining in space to get all the things I need to actually build a proper spaceship. And I want to go visit all the planets. It's kind of the idea. So I need to build a ship that can jump and then go visit the planets. And, even, and just kind of do a little like a, maybe like a little bit of a Kerbal type thing where you go down, do land, you plant a flag, right? And then you go back up and then you go to the next planet, right? Um, and, I, and one thing I would like to do is as I hit each planet, um, I want to turn on like some sort of danger in each one. So like maybe turn on the cyber dogs on the earth, like turn, turn on the spiders on the, on the, the Mars or no, the, the alien one. Right. Um, and like actually have like some NP NPC kind of like run-ins and shenanigans, um, on each of the planets. So have something fun happen on each planet, plant a flag, destroy the ecosystem, <laughs> exploit all the resources as usual. That's right. Uh, Okay, so now let me think this through. I want obviously to be able to, so I think I'm gonna need to run tubes. Five. Uh, so let's run a tube from here. And then I need to, let's just put a, like a junction here. And then we will put corner. Uh, how do I want to do this? Because I need it to be High enough to get the initial drills. So drill, drill, drill. So it's gonna have to go up quite a bit, right? So let's just go like that. And I don't need this here. And then the question is, is how high, how high can you go? So let's go up, up, up. Go like that. Uh, 
Okay, and then one. All right, so that was, I needed to be one space and then we're gonna have a drill one. So there'll be a drill, drill, and then the center drill would be right here. So Fuel let's low. put a, one of those on there for now. Critical. Ah, mm. did I die? No. Man, I went through that. I went through that. Oh, hey. I want the hydrogen bottle. What's going on here? Whoa. Things are happening. Where do they go? These are the ones on the flight seat. I can go grab one of those, I guess, but they're they're up in the rocket. What's going on with this guy? He's not getting filled? Well, so I guess one I can just go fill up. Okay, and then if I go back to one of these generators. I throw him in. Uh, it's not cyber dogs anymore. It's just regular wolves. And unless modded by, unless modded, they are terrible. Okay, I'll have to look into getting some fun NPCs. Uh, terribly exciting, terribly boring, terribly at their jobs. Yeah, terrible at the job. Terrible, terribly disappointing. All right. Something, something weird is going on with my hydrogen bottle. Uh, probably to do with, uh, maybe I didn't set something up right with the, with this thing. It's trying to fill it. Yeah, it, but it ain't, it ain't doing such a great job. I turned stockpile off. I wonder if, uh... I go put it in the one, um, might just go grab one of those. So like that guy, that guy is having a hard time. So if I grab you and then let's go to the one that I built over here. And if I throw you in here, are you also just going to like be disappeared? Yep. Yeah, you're having a hard time. You're having a hard time. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Uh, I think under this seat. Let's just grab one of those for now. And I'll figure out what's going on with that later. Um, maybe if I just, I'll just leave it in the system. Let's see, if eventually it figures out what to do with it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to go over here and now I want to, um, so this road, rotor should be the last thing. So let's make piston. Uh, okay, so I don't want that on here or that on there or that on there. I want a piston. And I want a rota, but I want to make sure it is an advanced rota. And then we're going to need some uh, drills. All right. So, piston six. Did I go too high? Piston. And then rotor. And then drill. Uh, 
probably could have gotten away with uh, one lower, but whatever. Drill. Drill. Okay. And then that should make a big enough hole for us to uh, get what we need when we need to go down further. So I'm going to build this all up first. So now let's uh, let's start with the big stuff. So let's grab. I need you. I need you. And I need you. Okay. Burp, burp, burp. You need to manually place it into the tanks. Isn't that what I was doing? Or was I putting it in the wrong spot? I thought I had to put it in the top part, not the bottom part. I don't know. It's probably doing the wrong thing. We'll go back and check on it later. Into oh, into the tank, not into the generator. Gotcha. Also, the tank has to be set to auto fill. And they are just uh, popping off all over town with guns. What? What? What are you talking about? Guns? planner look like now yeah let's clear that out and let's say okay what do we need you are not quite done 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 build those up Yep, I know I keep saying it every time we stream, but this build planner, man, amazing. Not having to constantly try to remember what, <laughs> what I need. Ugh.
People are shooting their guns. I live on the outskirts of town, so I can hear them shooting all the time. Man, especially now that the weather is sub-zero. What? Energy low. Okay. We are all built up. Oh, we are almost all built up. I need more motors. What? Okay. Okay, so it's all built up. That looks weird. Um, I need a block here just to make it look like it's supported. Uh, that goes up there. We got that over there. Okay, let's do the inertial tenter thing. panel we want um actually let's just talk to the so i think it's just this guy right or did i think rotors also have them so let's go into you and let's go share where's the share or is it not pistons there it is and then this guy doesn't actually have an interface though Okay, so let's go into here and let's go Rotor, advanced Rotor. There we go. All right, so. Advanced Rotor, we want you to start spinning around in circles. Uh, Energy critical. Velocity at, let's say, 0.5. Round and round we go, round and round we go. And then I want to go to you and go drill. And we have these three drills and we want to turn it on. Yeah. Ow. Okay, that'll start getting a little bit of ice. We'll let that go while I go get my power back. Uh. What does keep you from space at the moment? Hydrogen! I need ice, because my tanks aren't full. Uh, the gun comment scares me, I think. Yeah, ditto. Um, I am happy that it isn't the case here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, no guns. Um, they've been especially worked up since the whole Ukraine thing happened. Uh, well, yeah, the whole Ukraine thing is, that's, that's just sad. Um, that needs to end, and everybody needs to go home. Okay, so let's go back over here. Okay, so it's going around in circles. Around, around, around. Thinking I could rotate at, at the one, at speed of one. Whoa. Uh, uh, rota. Let's turn this to one. Okay. And then I think the speed of descent is uh, da -da -da, control panel, um, piston. The right piston. What's the right piston? What is your name, Mr. Piston? Piston 2. Okay, so let's set its uh, velocity to be point. I think point two five was the right speed. And then reverse, and then we find out if I am wrong. Oh my god, no, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. Uh, 
that looked like it was going way too fast for my liking. Uh, way too fast for my liking. So let's go back into here. Still don't know how to use the whole build thing. Um, okay, so velocity. Let's go point zero. Is that the right? Was it zero two five? Does anybody remember? Better rename piston two. <laughs> yeah. Um, Non-contact mining. How's this going? Uh, does that look like it's a good speed? Yeah, no, I was, uh, some, I remember we, we I had figured it out. It looks like it's still going a little too fast, actually, for my liking. I think it is point, uh, da, 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 reverse, and then, uh, velocity, point zero, two, five, I think is the right, and then we can reverse that again. Okay. I'd fi I figured it out in a previous stream with other people's help, but I think this is the right speed. Okay, we're getting a whole bunch of ice now. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for a moment, make sure it doesn't look like it's gonna bash into things. Uh, smaller rigs can go faster than bigger ones. Uh, thought it was point zero zero two five. Uh, what do you guys think? Does this look like it's the right speed without? Do need to go slower than that? Uh, write it down, write it into the surface of the planet with blocks. <laughs> Planetary notepad, nice. I like to mine a 10 block head and I think it uses 0 0.0025 with a rotor speed of one. Okay. There's the thing here. So what do I have currently on this? Uh, point zero zero two five. Okay. Let it run at that then. And that'll make a nice big hole. I had this idea. I'm sure it's not a new idea. Um, uh, but I'll give you, let me know what you guys think design wise. I was thinking of building something like this. So you see here, it's got three, right? Three, make this initial hole with the rotor and the piston. And then basically build around this, a truck. So like that the, um, and have like the center of the truck hollow with it kind of like in the middle of it and then build the truck around like that central hole um, that then you can just basically drive out to a location. You see, oh, hey, there's something. I want to build a mining rig here. You drive over it. You make the initial hole with the truck go brrr, as, down as, as far down as the initial piston would go into the ground, right? And then, uh, and then you back away and then you build the rig around it to, to continue down. But this would make the initial, like you go up there and you make the initial hole with the truck. A mining rig. Yeah, well, kind of like a mining rig, yeah. But I guess it'd be more like a, bore, a boring rig, right? Like making the initial hole. Um, I've seen that done before with multiple pistons. I've also seen it done with two pistons and merge blocks. Go big or go home. Yeah, I've also seen like people build like, um, like using the hinges, I think. Using hinges and pistons and maybe rotors. Uh, building like... Um, uh, where you can actually have the have the pistons doubling back on each other. So you like have a line and then it comes back up and then it goes down and then it allows you to actually like contain the thing in a small spot when it's stowed away, but then you can actually have it like keep going down and down and down, right? So it starts by drilling the first hole and then you flip it around and you keep going. And so you can end up having like a really, really long line that can collapse. 
Uh, yeah, they're using a source of... Yeah, they are using some sort of script usually as well. Unfolding. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted, I wanted to see if I could try to build something like that eventually, right? So you have a, a truck that has like a, an, an, like a folding piston line with the drills on the end. And then it could come up and make the hole that would go all the way down to like whatever you're trying to mine for. Like maybe down 60, uh, 60 meters or whatever, right? And then you pull the drill out back away with the truck, build a rig around it that then can do the, 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 the circular rotating one, right? I would guess it needs a script, as I said. Says. Yeah, well, I mean, a script probably make it easier, but you could probably do it manually. You do them one at a time, but yeah, I imagine a script. Hey, this is looking pretty good. I like it. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's go see how we're doing for... Uh, how we're doing for our tanks. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. We are back up to, to filling, and we're at 80%. And we got ice. How's our, uh, how's our poor, um, hydrogen bottle? Oh, hey, it that it finally filled. So it's probably because, uh, the way that it was trying to fill it, right? It was trying to fill it by putting it into the H2O2 generator, but the H2O2 generator had no ice. Um, and it wasn't taking from the, uh, uh, the tanks, right? It was just trying to fill it from the H2O2 generator. I'm thinking I probably want to put, can like these can't go in there now. Like I should probably take all of those and put them into the spaceship. So if I need <laughs> um, oxygen, like spare oxygen, let's put them in the seat here. Uh, so we have. So we have what, one, two, three hydrogen bottles, and then we'll have one, two, three oxygen bottles as backup in this, uh, in the seat. Just in case. Ow. Ow. Okay, and then, so if I now just take this bottle and stick it in here. Oh, what happened? Did I have more? Oh no, the script! Why did it make more? I said I only want one. Hmm. Uh, da, da, da. I actually don't want to maintain. So if I go back down to text, so if I don't want to maintain something, can I just mark it at zero? Like, I don't want more data pads. I don't want more hydrogen bottles. I don't want more oxygen bottles. If I do that, will it not make more? <laughs> So it doesn't grab this. Uh, especially nice to have breathable. <laughs> right, you have to breathe, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Man, it probably would be really annoying. So if I just stick you in here. Yay! Okay. Well. Okay. Look at it go. We're still just going through ice. Yeah, this should be a goodly amount of ice. We'll just let that thing go until it's fully extended, or is it already fully extended? No, five, right? It goes until maximum distance is 10. Yeah. So it's going real slow, but it's gonna make a nice hole. 
Yeah, we'll just let it go until it's done. And I think we're almost ready to go into space. I think I do want to go into production. Actually, no, I can just go over to this thing. Like, what do we have in here right now? Um, I think we want to bring more. So, mm -mm -mm, still plates. Let's maintain 5,000 of those and let's maintain 5,000 of these. Just to have it start building stuff. And I think, because I think I want to bring a lot more steel plates and stuff onto this when we go. <clears throat> I think we are getting real close, though, to liftoff time. Yep. What does it say? 10 minutes. 10 minutes until liftoff. 10 minutes. Oh, we never finished building uh, that. Let's go do that while we wait. We got distracted by ice. Um, doo -doo. So, you look like you are fully constructed. You look like you are fully constructed. So let's go you, you. Alright, are you all done up? No, you are not. Now you are. Are you all done up? Yes? Okay, so we need one, two, we have three left to build. You, and you, and you. <laughs> if the ice lasts that long, Man, man, not be any windowed. I know, right? <clears throat> not much wind at the moment. But at least now I've got quite a bit of wind turbines on this little grid. Five more. Is that did I miss which one? Oh, there we are. Okay. Everything is built. Cool, cool. Alright, now let's take a look at our power situation. It is depleted in 23, 24 minutes. 
So if, okay, so it looks like actually wind is picking up now and we're getting into a better situation with the wind and with the power. Oh yeah. All right, current output <clears throat> 7.66, current input four going on five. Yeah, so it's just a matter of if the, I think we're gonna be in a positive situation when the wind picks up. It looks like it's starting to pick up right now. We're up to six, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. So yeah, if the wind goes down a lot, so like, we'll see how, oh, is this gonna top out at 6.66? Yeah, it looks like it topped out at 6.66 at the moment, at the current wind speed. Does it actually tell me, if I go into like one of the wind, wind turbines, does it tell me like maximum output, current output, wind clearance is good. Wind clearance is optimal. Okay, so some of them are only good. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I'd, I sh would need to put them, probably, I bet you the optimal ones are the ones on top, right? And then the good are the ones that are on the sides. So the current, yeah, it looks like it did top out at point or 6.66 at the moment. So we're not, we're not in a positive situation yet. Energy low. I don't know if that, like, if the wind goes up, would that change? Like, like, is it just, is it showing me? Because it, like, current and, and uh, maximum are the same, so I wasn't sure if that changes. Like, if that max is what it would do if it had all the wind it needed, or is it going to? Is that number going to go up as the wind changes? <clears throat> 95! Alright, three minutes. Got a pretty pretty decent power generation going on and it's probably because this stuff is all building away right now right like if everything was oh yeah because we've also got the refineries going because of the ice we've got the assemblers going so yeah so if if when things stop working it'll probably be in a better situation but it's still still going looks like it's getting closer to being fully extended but not quite there yet it's a nice big hole All right, we're gonna go to space, whether we're ready or not. Then we'll laugh uh, because my machine won't even be able to get off the ground. Uh, depends on the storms. The current max don't really mean make any sense. Okay, so, so yeah, like it'll change based on how much wind it's actually getting, which seems interesting. They don't really keep track well enough. Okay. <laughs> Noob is extending his piston to the fullest on stream. <laughs> I hope it's 18 plus, yeah. Oh, it's only at 6.5 actually. Still got, still got a way to, a little bit further to go. Okay. 
All right, yeah, so that's all built up. And I think we're at the point here where I'm, it's time to load them up. Uh, let's fill up all of that. Actually, let's uh, make sure that my my bottle is full. And let's empty my inventory. Alrighty. All right. What do we got on the G menu? Hydrogen thrusters on and off, ion thrusters on and off, gyros on and off, lights, switch lock. Okay, so I can just hit this right now to, oh no, we want to make sure. That, so we want to switch lock and then we can turn the connector on and off from here. We can turn on the hydrogen thrusters and off the hydrogen thrusters. So I haven't done this in a very long time. Uh, hot tub stream soon as well. <laughs> Space. Uh, forgets to decouple the rift space part. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, our tank. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Tank. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay, and we don't want them on stockpile when we start going off into the wild blue yonder, right? So they're already off. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, so if I say... No fuel. What did I just do? Why did it say no fuel? I just disconnected the... What did I just do? Oh, batteries. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, we're back online. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> all right, so set up decrease. Oh yeah, thrust, 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 thrust. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the G menu. So what is our, we want to go to blocks, right? Uh, groups. So I have a group for all of the hydrogen tanks for the thrusters. Thrusters. I want increase thrust override and decrease thrust override. Is that, is that what we want? Increase and decrease. I think it would be forward, just the forward thrust. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, let's remove and remove. So maybe we just make a group for the forward thrusters. So. Oh my goodness. Large hydro, so the large hydrogen one is, we definitely want that, right? Large hydrogen thrusters. So this is down, this is right, up, left. So I've just got the one thruster. Because I'm smart. Now remember this thing was built a long time ago before a lot of things. Um, that's my excuse. Uh, so I am going to uh, show block. Let's turn those all bits back on for now. Um, so that means that if I go 
to the G menu and I go to blocks. I want the hydrogen, the large one, right? Large hydrogen thruster. I want to be able to increase and decrease that one's thruster. Increase thrust for all thrusters equally. Sounds like a fun crater to happen. <laughs> I uh, should be fine with just your large thruster. I sure hope so. All right. So, so before I do anything, it's, uh, let me get out of the seat and we're going to remove, I, I need to set up obviously systems to do this better in the future. Um, but for now, let's just go in here and let's say, I'm going to assume that this is piston. I should probably name this better. Uh, okay, so this is the um, spaceship piston. Okay, and then we will reverse this. Oh, darn it. I didn't fill my... <laughs> Jeez. Ah, I didn't load it up with all the stuff. So control panel, piston. Uh, so this is the, we had cobalt iron. This is, this is a piston for, oh, we'll just call this one the ice piston for now. Okay, spaceship piston. Um, first back out. And then let's go back in here and we want to turn that on. Lock it. Okay. And then let's go into the menus and inventory. I want to go from uh, lock from component. All right, so now let's grab everything that we have here. Oh, let's grab everything. Okay, still building more stuff, but uh, okay, that's lots of stuff. Um, if I need a gun, I've got a gun. Although I don't think I need space credits. Maybe a med kit would be good. I don't think we need these GPS. Helios. All right. So. And then we got more oxygen bottles in here because we built them. Okay. So that's everything. I need you to work on your naming conventions. Really? <laughs> uh, turn off connector before launching. Yeah, yeah, that's, I always, I, I connectors scare, scare me. All right. So let's, uh, Disconnect. Turn the switch lock. Okay, it is. Okay. Turn it off. Okay. And then get out. So you are now off and disconnected. Now the base is going to go into like maximum build everything mode because it's got nothing now. Uh, and then control panel. Um. Spaceship piston and reverse. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Ba -na 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 Are you, is everybody ready for Explodicus 5000? So now I'm sitting in a position that is better for flying this thing horizontally, which is what's going to happen when I get into space. But until then, I want it to fly like a normal rocket with the bottom being the bottom, like like what's on the ground being the bottom and not what's on the reverse side of the connector being the bottom. But when I'm in this seat, the way it's situa situated, right? The bottom would actually be the, um, uh, the reverse side where the c connector is. But because I've got uh, hydrogen thrusters and I've got an override for the hydrogen thruster, 
right? I should just be able to like go straight up. Um, but I also have, if I remember correctly, I put a remote control block. So if I actually go G and I had the remote control block facing the way where down would be proper. So for, for this, for the, for the launch. So if I go to G and we go remote and I say control, right? So now if I go six, Okay. Can I not look outside with the remote control block? What am I doing wrong? Uh, unhook the camera. What? Unhook the camera. Now that should be good. Right now the bottom is your back. So like when I'm in the remote control block, I that's actually what like the remote control block is what I should be using actually for this for the thrust, right? So if I go all blocks large, I'm going to go increase decrease and then thrusters I'll have a, a toggle on off for that as well. But then from this, from this angle, I should be able to use WASD in the proper, the proper situation. Um, can I not? Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. This is interesting because okay so i wish i could actually see it from the inside but it doesn't look like i can okay uh i really hope that this is set up right man this is awkward um okay well okay wait wait what's going on which way is I need to know which way is actually up and down. So I'm, I'm still locked. So if I'm locked and I turn on and try and like try the uh, thrust. Okay, well, let's, let's try this. What's the worst that can happen, right? Right now, the bottom is your back. Right, so the bottom is the bottom of the ship, right? Where the feet are. Um, the literal back of the, yeah, the seat, yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. There's only one way to find out if this is going to be... Uh, oh, I guess I should get the landing gear. Uh, groups. So... Let's put the landing gear over here and we'll say... Uh, switch lock. And then we'll take the gyros. And I'm going to put them here and I'm going to have them... Toggle on off. Okay. Uh, you are making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Just burn the main thruster should do it since you are not even. Okay. All right. I know I'm thinking too much like KSP and I, and I shouldn't be because this is, this is, this is not KSP. All right. Let's just do this thing. Okay. So I'm going to unlock. And then I'm going to let's turn the drivers on and then let's turn the thrusters on. 
all off. Why are the thrusters off? Why why is this not turning them on? Uh Off, off. Did I put the wrong ones in the bar? A few menu. What's this? Hydrogen thrusters. Toggle on off. Oh, I was pressing four, not three. Okay, they're on. Oh, I don't have the... Okay, no, they're on. going on here? Why are they saying they're, that they're off? Uh, oh, interesting. Was that only turning those ones? So three, I turn those off. Is that only turning on? What's my group got? So if I go to... Hydrogen thrusters. Oh, it doesn't include the large. So I can just click it and then... How do I... How do I add it to the group? Save? Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so now if I go, uh, sadly, by the amount you need to fiddle around with the nonsense, that is also way complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> okay, uh, turning it all on. Yeah! There we go! Up, up, and away! Did I kill the pad? You can make it behave like KSP if you want to. Yeah, I saw some of that. Oh my, here we go, here we go! Try to keep your speed at 95. Where's my speed? 90, okay. Uh, so. Right, because 100 is the max, I'm just wasting power, right? Otherwise. Lift off! Warp scientist, hello! We are heading to space. Uh, by the way, it does have gyros. Yes, yes it does. And they are currently turned on. Um, okay, so I want to turn it... Up a bit now, because we're going the wrong direction. Okay, there we go. Look at us go! Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the rust bucket. <laughs> oh, uh... Uh, where does it tell me when I'm... Where's my gravity indicator? Any gravity, uh, P gravity is still at one. Okay, so we're still, still needing to just fly away. Oh, fly, oh, fly away. Oh, okay, we're losing planetary gravity. Oh, we're using too much power. Don't want to waste my fuel. Away we go. Yay, space! We did it! <laughs> Finally got off that ice bucket. Gravity is down past point. Cool, cool. We're only needing to use 24% of our thrust to stay at this speed.
14% thrust. It says we have 10 hours of battery life. We were able to carry um, quite a bit of stuff in that in that cargo container, so that's good. Point two five gravity. Only using nine percent thrust now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hidey hole is two, 22 clicks away. Uh, time to get warp and invade some other species. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're up here. To, we need to get a bunch of uh, stuff. Like, what was it? We need two different... We need platinum and uh, something else. Uranium, right? That's what we're looking for up here. Into space. We don't need much thrust anymore. Does uh, space bar still work like as a break in space? Or do actually, I don't even think I have. I don't think I can stop uh, without turning, right? I didn't put a thruster in the other direction. I don't have a. Do I have a thruster? That can stop me. We have thrusters that go in those directions. We have a thruster that goes this way. I don't actually think I have a thruster that can stop me. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need brakes. Good old Newtonian physics, yeah. Time to flip and burn. That is right. But we, we need to make sure that we get out of the gravity before we do that. Or spin wildly in place and let the inertial figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... We are, so if I now just, whoop, that's the wrong turning radius. Oh, I want to get out of the, uh, okay, so now I am actually flying. So now if I was to just turn around and face the planet, flip and burn, flip and burn. We are in space. We did it. Uh, also, what is going to happen when you are trying to land that rust bucket? Um, the plan is to do a, um, a basically like a suicide suicide burn. You know, SpaceX. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna turn it around, and so we're gonna head back to the planet, right? And then when gravity picks up, I'm gonna turn it around so that its butt faces down, and then we're gonna let it the gravity pull it towards the ground, and then we're gonna adjust using left right. Like using the four directional thrusters and burning to slow down and then touch down. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go wonderfully. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're in space. Um, uh, I was commenting on the flip. I also want to. Oh, yeah, commenting on the flip and burn. And SpaceX, like, you will explode in the end. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm planning that I, this is my, my first rocket, right? And. Um, all, you know, the first rockets in SpaceX all exploded too, so it's fine, right? <laughs> all right. We are in space. Um, oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> you know what I didn't put on my rocket ship? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I didn't put on my rocket ship? It's fine. A sealed atmosphere, that, but also an ore detector. Uh, okay, we got some we got some rocks over here. We got some rocks over there. Let's uh, let's head over to this this cluster of rocks. Now I got to remember to point kind of like away from the um, the rock so that I don't flip like when I need to flip over and slow down. Uh, oh yeah, I'm losing oxygen. You know what I should do is grab some of those bottles, right? So let's just slow this thing down for a moment. And then I'm going to get out of the seat and then, oh no, actually it's in my seat, isn't it? If I go in here. Inventory. I brought a bunch of hydrogen and oxygen. So what do I have on me? I have some hydrogen. Let's grab an oxygen bottle as well. Okay. Now at least then we can last a little bit longer, right? Right? Head for this rock. Let's see what's over there. We'll use my I'll use my hand drill to see if we can find ice and other things. Don't stop. Go ice. Oxygen 66%. <laughs> Hello, uh Johnny Hun. Uh time to learn how to die in space. Yep, basically, right? I might have an oxygen bottle, right? It's fine, right? No, straight go off, straight on. I want to see some explosions. Yes. Well, there's some rocks right below us. Oh, this this big rock looks promising. I'm gonna head over to this big rock. Time to learn how to die in space. I don't think I need to learn how to die in space. I think I think we all pretty much know. Fly up to this little clustering of asteroids. See what we can find over here. There's so many possibilities. You are right. Why don't we, we need to discover all of the possible ways. Um, we're going to make a new version of Dumb Ways to Die. I like my little rocket ship. <laughs> uh, at least your braking thrust is quite okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my braking thrust, huh? Ooh, ooh, I see some color up there on that asteroid. But I think that's what, cobalt? That color? is the last person who tried to find here. <laughs> All right. Let's see.
Let's slow ourselves down. Okay. Um, I am going to pop out and I'm going to get out my drill. Does this thing not give me oxygen? Why isn't it giving me oxygen? Shouldn't it give me oxygen too? Let's go over to the rock. Do I have a marker? I don't know. Do I have a beacon on this thing? I think I have a beacon on this thing, right? I probably have it turned off. Where's my... Um, ba, 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 ba. What? Did I not put a beacon on this? Or an antenna? I did not. Awesome. Uh, feel the burn. You may want to turn thrusters off as well. Yeah, so like while I'm... So let's go turn all the thrusters off. And then we'll turn the gyros off. Uh, try and save some power, right? So if I go in here... Uh, ship power. Time left. One week. Okay, I think we're good. But I have, I do have oxygen bottles. It's just, I thought this would give me oxygen too, because it is all hooked up to H2O2 generators and all that jazz, right? Like if I go into here, does it, oh, does, did we grab any ice? Maybe that's what we didn't do. Did I not grab any ice? Uh, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm super smart. I am super smart. Uh, but I think I can... I don't know. All right, let's go see if we can find some ice. <laughs> so it's right there. Hopefully we can find that. It's right off this rock. Uh, I do have a few bottles, so we're, we can stay up here for a little bit. I should probably turn off... Uh, Let's turn off all of this stuff for now so that I don't. If I miss some ice, you guys let me know. I was too excited to get off the planet that I didn't think about grabbing a bunch of ice. Uh, hey, <laughs> uh, Apple, I am winning. Yes, I got off the planet. I don't know if I'll be able to get back. We're going to find out. This Either everything is too deep into this asteroid. Oh, there's a red thing. There are baddies out here. Uh... Oh, where's my light? Oh, my light's not that great. You guys see any? Like, I haven't seen anything pop up on my thing. Uh, do you have an oxygen tank and a generator with ice? I do, like, I have an H2O2 generator. I have a couple of oxygen tanks. Um, but I didn't bring any ice because I'm smart. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, the drill too doesn't... Oh, what's this? What does this mean? Drill doesn't...
that mean anything? They looked weird. I love that freckling, that black freckling. I'm not seeing any, uh, anything come up in my drill for like resources. If it's red and flashing, it's not coming to you. It's just waiting for you. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go all the way through this, this rock. I'm not seeing any... Military mine layer? Oh my god. This asteroid doesn't seem to have anything in it. It's a big rock, but not seeing any surface, surface things. Unless I'm missing something, right? Like, I don't see any, uh, anything. All right, well, there's the planet that I came from. Where's my ship? There's my ship right there. Maybe go over to this guy. Let's, let's get some, uh, energy back. And if I look at my own inventory, we're down to 57% on this bottle. So let us, uh, turn the engines on and the gyros on and we're gonna head to this rock go to that blue it's just out of range of your drill yeah like i, I didn't even think to bring an ore detector i'm such an such a fool fit it a fool to a nice zero meters per second. Turn everything off. Uh, I just went to this guy, right? Okay, so there's cobalt here. Cobalt. Go inside the creepy asteroid um, cave, which I'm sure is just a cave, right? There's not going to be, it's not actually the inside of a monster that wants to eat me. Uh, I feel like I really needed to put an ore detector on, on my sh ship. I'm not finding anything except for like, I guess what's like right on the surface of the, what's the range of the actual drill? It's pretty low, right? Between 25 and 50 meters.
The only thing you can find are surface deposits for the most part. Yeah, okay. So if I don't see something... Alright, so I should go probably take my ship and go looking for asteroids that have visible stuff on the outside. But I have to keep an eye on how much oxygen I have. If we don't find ice, then I'm just going to have to go back home and build an ore detector and actually bring some ice with me. So where is my ship? It was between these two rocks, right? Oh, look at this. Rocks crumbling everywhere. Ow. What's with the flashing? What's going on with the flashing? Oh, it's the sun flashing. Okay. All right. Where is my ship? Of course, with everything turned off, it's actually pretty dark and hard to see. It was between this asteroid and that asteroid though, right? There it is. There was a deposit right here. Let me mark this one. So this is cobalt. Uh, and I learned, is it, what's the, so is it slash? No. Chat? No. How do you bring up the chat thing? Um, what's chat? Enter. Thank you. And then I can go slash GPS, right? And then I can just say cobalt. That's a lot easier than what I was doing before. Uh, so we got cobalt right here, but we don't have any ice. So let's go back to this guy. Well, I brought a bunch of stuff with me. Could I build an order? Do I have enough to, I don't think, right? Like an order detector needs certain types of components that I didn't bring, right? Uh, go back to my, let's go to my G menu and I go, or yeah, I didn't, I have everything except for the detector components. I didn't bring detector components because I'm smart. All right, let's go find another asteroid. Uh, which you can make in a basic assembler, but I didn't bring any rock or like any materials with me. Uh like, I, I would need, like, iron and stuff, right? Well, I guess I could mine the rock, right? The rock is rock? The rock is rock. The rock is, like, stone, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. If I put a basic assembler, where is... Let's just grind down this external plate. Am I doing the right thing? Gives me access to this and we'll throw a basic assembler. We'll give this thing a carbuncle. Um, just need a basic assembler. Steel plates. Oh, right, and I do have a survival kit. Right, right, right. So, okay, so did that, did I actually finish? I did. Okay, cool. Uh, so we have a basic assembler, and then I want to make, let's go into here and let's go to production. I need to make a ore detector, right? So let's, let's start, actually, yeah, let's go, let's get out of the seat. Let's, where are we going to put the ore detector? The ore detector, maybe I'll put the ore detector right here. Okay. And if I go G or I'm going to put it right 
there. And then we want to build up this. Okay. And then I want to grab everything I need for this. And then let's build up. Can I? Build planner is empty. Oh, right click. Okay. Grab everything I need, except for detector components. We build that up. Okay. So all we have left in the build planner now is 20 detector components. So if I go to here and I say, oh, that's off. So I probably have to go, uh, I need an access port right here. If I go to here and I say, build me those things. And then let's go take a look at what's happening in production. Probably nothing, right? Because we need missing items, which is iron and nickel. Okay. So we need some iron and nickel. And I can get some iron and nickel by just... Okay, let's go... Oh, I'm full. Okay. Let's go back over to here. Um, and it's all connected, so I should be able to just go... Uh. Okay. Let's go back and get a bit more. Look at us. Thank you for the suggestion, everybody. Keep an eye on that oxygen though. Can I use this even though it's off? Yes, I can, cool. doing oh do I not have what's going on are you not uh, you're not doing things I forgot how these things work, obviously. Uh, production. I need to tell it to just friggin' go forever on this. So that I can build those other things. Oh wait, I can't build... Oh no, this is just built making this, and then... Then the other thing, survival kit. Uh, here's my production survival kit assembler. Yay! Okay. Basic break things down. You have a survival kit. Da, da, da. You have to manually queue up the. Yeah, I remembered finally. Go to the survival kit and manually make them bags. Okay. So while that's happening, I don't know. Let's just, I guess, go get some more stone to make sure that we have enough to make all of this. Making a mess here. Inventory full. Uh, ship, ship, ship. So 
Assembler, how are we doing? Can I... Got four. <laughs> uh, there's my rock, there he is. Try to go into like in in the actually why don't I just do this go in a little bit so that the rock can kind of like maybe stay in here a bit while I do this okay so uh, okay another question I'll probably never find this hole again anyway so go back straight out over here. Go back. Uh, this guy, right? Inventory full. Still doing all right on the oxygen bottle. Uh, got four hundred stone. Probably still need more. Uh, Too bad I didn't need cobalt because I had a whole supply of that here. Need nickel and uh, nickel and iron. I need 11 more. Thought thought I was done with manual mining, but no. Inventory full. Whoop. The ship there, the ship. Okay, 
how are we doing? This guy. Six more. How's our production queue looking? Yeah, no. Still need more. Uh mm -hmm. do do more of the win. Okay, okay, Apple, I will do more of the win. <laughs> Littering space. Inventory full. Let me out. Oh, we need one more. Do we have enough to make one more? Make one more. Come on. Oh, yeah. There. There you go, Apple. More of the win. All right. Let's see now if we can. Oof. Find some resources. Okay. Let's go to no da, 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 da. what do we want? Uh connector. I guess we can let's just remove that. Remove control block, that's fine there. Um I would like ore detector. Uh, we'll have, we'll have a quick toggle it on and off. Oh, do I need an antenna too, or is an ore detector enough? An antenna, I only need an antenna, right, if I, um, uh, if I want to, uh, be able to see it while I'm still outside, right? Okay, so cobalt. Um, let's turn on those, let's turn on those. So now I should be able to see... more stuff uh funny you mentioned that gary i'm building a balcony at the moment yeah set or detector to max max range okay sure oh yeah so it is seeing the cobalt over there uh Hundred and fifty. Okay, so I see cobalt, which we already know about. So there's lots of cobalt on this on this here rock. We want ice. Okay, 
Is it there normally only one resource on a rock or there is there more? It's been so long since I've actually tried any of this stuff. Oh, silver. Okay, there's silver here. Oh, shoot. Let's not wreck my ship. All right. Um, so let's go enter slash GP. Yes, still over so we know where it is. Okay, so now we need to go to a different rock. Each asteroid will usually contain up to three different resources. Usually it will be two on a rock in a cluster. He's trying to find himself exploding with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Like, yeah, like, I've already, uh, I've already wrecked myself a little bit here. One of the downsides on having a thruster in the reverse direction. Okay, so there's the planet. I'm thinking maybe go back to that bigger rock and make sure we didn't miss something really good there now. that oh well oh, that's the wait, that's the other rock right I want um, I don't want blue or sorry I don't want oh no wait oh there's okay so there's cobalt on this rock as well this big rock is this the one we already found or is this different this is different right so there's cobalt on this rock as well whatever so there's cobalt here let's go around this way right, so I want the yellow indicators are for like the stuff that we are finding with the ore detector blue ones are my GPS mark Hit the rock, please. And I 
Not a whole lot on this rock. It's a baddie 13 kilometers by starboard bow. Do not want to go that way. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's think we go find another rock. All right, so we've tried these two. Uh, the planet's over there. Let's, uh, let's head over to this guy. Is there a indicator showing me my ship's hydrogen easily accessible somewhere? Oh, is that that 97% on the far right? I think that's my ship's uh, fuel. Just need some ice. If we can find some ice, we can stay up here even longer. Power's down to four days though because of the <laughs> ore detector, I imagine. Well I guess I should turn like turn that off while I'm flying between rocks, right? Is there something broken on my ship again? Yes, of course there is. Okay. Unknown signal. All right, well, we're not finding any anything good here either.
I love the look of my ship. <laughs> Need some eyes. Said, oh, hey, Max. Is your ore detector back on? Yeah, I think so. Uh, turned on. It says down on number seven there. I'll, I'll double check. Uh, or. Yeah, it's on. Max. Range. There's just nothing on this rock. Wait. What did I miss? Did I miss something? What did I miss? Yes, <laughs> uh, Apple, yes, they are new glasses. <laughs> Leave it to you to be the one to notice that. I'm going to sleep. Good luck and good game. Thank you. Uh, Johnny Hun. I knew it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on this rock. This rock is empty. And I probably should just fix that. Where's the... Oh, how's my, uh, okay, still got 15% in that. Let me go down and find my broken foot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Apple. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Oh, you're you're also all shook up. Not that I'm really too concerned about that. Um, I'm gonna leave that one for now. If I lose that, it's not a huge deal. Uh, all right. This rock doesn't seem to have anything on it. Um, I'm going to mark it as a dud so I don't come back here. Let's go slash GPS dud. All right. Where's the planet? There's the planet. How about you? What's on you? Is there any other rocks nearby that I should be going to instead? That's where I was, right? Some rocks don't have any ores. That's more rare now. Still got quite a bit of fuel. We just need some ice before I die. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the ore detector on because I'll probably forget about that. Probably want to set up the base on the like on an asteroid that we find that has ice because then at least we know we can generate more oxygen and hydrogen there
Oh, okay, my bottle is empty. Uh, I can take that bottle out and I'll put this bottle in. How many more bottles of oxygen do I have? Oxygen, oxygen, right, I brought three. On or So that's the goal now. Your hole is not the main priority. <laughs> um, well, it's all about new holes, right? You can't you can't just uh, give too much attention to one hole. You have to just keep looking for new holes. Look, making new holes. Now I'm making holes in space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. I'm not finding any resources here. The ore detector is on. It's at max range. You need... Your holes need gl galore. You need holes galore. Yes. Yes. Oh, did I just hit something again? One of these days I'll find the right hole and uh, we'll, we'll make it our glorious one. Ah, shh. I was reading chat. Ah. Oh, man. Man, I'm not finding anything. That's right, just blame chat. Yep. Yep, that's what happened. Your ore detector busted? No, no, it shouldn't be. It was on the bottom. Let's check. I'm now worried. I hit the side, not the not the bottom. But let's let's double check. Let's slow down. Uh, 
is my ore detector doing? Nope, it's fully, it's full. It's all good. That's fine, okay. Where, let's just put everything in my inventory back in here. Okay. So it's fine, but I'm not finding anything. IKR. Is your ore detector busted? No, no, no. Uh, I'm not finding, like, anything. Like, and I don't want to get too close to this thing, because I'll just crash. Can't make me slap my face anymore? Nope, somebody removed that one. I guess it was being abused. Yeah, I'll do it for you, all time's sake. Mm. There you go. Just for you, just for you, Apple. All right, well, we're, there was another set of, there was another cluster of asteroids just nearby this one, right? Like right over here. Good. No good. We got a baddie over there. Somewhere I see him. Keep seeing him. Thank you. <laughs> it brings tears to your eyes, thanks. Uh, what am I doing wrong, Icing? Oh, I forgot to put Dud on the last asteroid. I'll end up going back there. All right, so we're coming in where there's this little cluster of stone above. Maybe you're just that unlucky. I mean, I still haven't found uranium in my world. Uh, but I can show you what I do have. Oh, hey, what's this? Ice! Dun da 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 da! Starting to think my ore detector was. Is all busticated. Okay.
Okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. Get on out. Get out my drill. Okay, there should be ice. In here? Yeah. 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 Give me the ice. Give it to me. Oh, I should have turned off the detector. <gasps> Look! Beautiful ice! drill around the sides of it here so that I can maybe catch more of it without it flying away. Okay. Nice big pocket of ice. Okay, where is... There, okay, that's my exit. Okay, so let's kind of... It's so funny. So funny, like, oh my god, I need ice! And then, uh, like, when I was on the planet, it was left like... Ice was the easiest possible thing to find. Okay, what am I... Uh, where's my... Where's my exit? Okay. Okay. Ah! Now we can actually stay out here. Because we've got ice in here. So with ice, I should be able to just refill this. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. That's not my hole. Where's my hole? Did I lose my hole? There's my hole. Okay. We'll go right here. And then I'm going to put a slash GPS ice. There we go. Inventory full. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go get, let's get a couple of loads of ice. Keeps us going for a little bit. Might as well grab the stone while I'm at it too, because every little bit counts. Need to find some iron up here as well. But this is a good start. So I go get that um, bottle that I have in my seat. Uh, oh, I guess I'm probably going to be refilling my tanks too while I'm. Was it here? Uh, are they are they just like eating up all the ice? Yeah. Okay. Um, which is good. I mean, we want to keep ourselves full up. Uh, does that mean that now, yeah, there, now it's actually giving me everything here too. Sweet, uh, oh, I was going in here to get the bottle that is empty. I'll put the oxygen bottle back in here that is full, and then we'll go fill this one up. There we go. Okay. All right. So we got some ice here. Is there anything else on this asteroid? I wonder. 
be nice if there were some more materials here instead of just ice. Maybe, uh, da, da, da. I just found one of the last two armor blocks for this 1400 plus ship blueprint. Wow. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna fly around. Now that I'm not as worried about Ox uh, Y Gen, um, I will fly around this asteroid and see if there's anything else here. All right. Is there anything else on this? on this beautiful ice rock. And, oh, uranium! Oh my God. Uh, have you seen, I'm sorry? out oh my god I'm lost in my own ship ah I don't get out of my own ship okay survival kit mm. there we go no what <laughs> oh my goodness just call me Marcus Brody um all right I don't know if anybody will get that joke. Uh, da, 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 da. Uranium. That's a lot of uranium, actually. All right, so. I don't want it to fly away on me. I think I'm losing it. Do I have to refine uranium? I do, right? Into ingots before I can put it in the in the uh, thing, right? And I need a proper... I need a proper um, assembler to make, or refinery to make. I can't make uh, uranium with a, a basic or anything, right?
All right, so I'm going to put a marker here. Uh, GPS uranium. Uh, got it. Ship's finally complete. Nice. Okay, so I can put this in here. But I'm pretty sure I can't refine it, right? Because you need a proper assembler for uranium. Uh, what else? I think we're... Yeah, my reactors were complete. I just need to be able to put uranium in them. Refinery large or industrial refinery large. Yeah. Okay. So it needs a big refinery. We got a little bit of it. So we now know where that is. So actually this wouldn't be a bad place to uh, set up, right? There's some uranium here. There's some ice here. Um, we'll have to go off to other places. I do need iron. I need to find a source of iron. I think I chewed through all my ice. All right, so we got ice, we got uranium. Is there anything else on this rock? You're saying up to three normally. Ooh, what's, ooh, what's going on here? Uh, make sure you GPS it. Yeah, stone is also iron. If you just mine it, all refineries can make nickel and so Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. What's going on with this? This Oh, is it case? Okay, so maybe just a hole that goes all the way through? Yeah. It's not a bad place to set up camp, though. Huh? Like, I can actually start building inside of this one. As a... Hey, look! Apple, I found the biggest hole. Actually, it's a pretty decent uh, starting place, right? Going like right in here, build build a bit of a base in here, and then just mine. Where's the uranium? So ice is that way. So I could just mine straight towards the ice that way with, and then straight towards the uh, uranium over there. When I eventually need it. Yeah, I like I like this. So where's the ice? We can start. Okay, if we go back around the other side, we got the ice. Okay, so I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna go back to the ship. Keep flying around. I like that. I like that. That seems like a good place to set up, set up shop. Okay, so we've got a nice, nice hole there. What a hole! <laughs> that's my, that's, is that Morton? No, is that? No, it's the same uranium. Okay, good, good. Okay. And there's ice over there and there's more okay that might that actually looks like there's more ice over here as well yeah looks like there's actually quite a bit of ice in this there's some ice by the uranium as well yeah so maybe actually going towards the ice in the That's where we started. So let's go around it this way. I'm gonna line up with these rocks again. 
Because I'd like to actually have some light on the whole situation if we can. Oh! Well, that was... That was really close. That was pure luck that I didn't hit those rocks. Ooh, that could be the end. The end of my expedition real fast. So yeah, I think this is ice and uranium on this rock. Oh yeah, because there's more uranium right there and ice right there. There's the alien planet off in the distance. Nice green ball. Okay. I think we're going to we're going to try and set up a little something here cuz the ice makes this our first home, I think. Home away from home. Any good spots to set up camp though that it was on the light side of this asteroid or was oh, that the hole? Yeah. That's the hole. That's a hole, baby. All right. Here's our new home. So, first things first, let's grab some steel plates. Uh, and I'm going to build, because I think ultimately we're going to want this ship to come up and, and like connect here as like a resupply station. So let's put down our first block. Uh, how do I want to do this? Can I rotate that? that going to go out? No. Okay. I think that's going to want it to go from one side to the other. So just start up a bit. Let's make sure that this is the good place to start. It's going to connect from one side to the other of the opening here. Looks like it. There we go. Okay. Then I'm gonna build a bit of a, kind of like a scaffolding around. The opening here to give us something to build off of.
I think that's gonna work out really that's gonna I think that's gonna work out really good. Let's see here. <laughs> hey Bernie, welcome. Uh <laughs> uh you smell, yes. Yes, you do. You do smell apple. <laughs> I smell like roses. Uh, <laughs> greetings, the old great bitter one. Thanks. Uh, apple. <laughs> I made it to space, Bernie. I found ice. So we're going to set up a... found ice and I found a uranium. We're going to set up a bit of a base here. As our first kind of like outpost in space. Space. go all the way around no I still need to connect it up over here to get rid of the okay that's the, that's the start though um, I'll, I'm gonna get rid of this piece in the middle eventually we'll go all the way, the way around but this is a good starting place there we go that we can kind of build off of how's our oxygen looking uh, okay, we're still good. All right, so this is kind of like the beginning of the scaffolding for the base around the opening. Where's my where's my ship? There you are. <gasps> but what about palladium? I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but this is going to be like our staging point. So I'm going to set up a little bit of spot here. We got uranium and we've got ice here. It'll be a, a good little starting staging point, and then we can go off and find all of the other rocks out there and what goodies that they have. <clears throat> so where is, I need to find the direction that I want to drill in from here to get to. So if I go to three, is there ice really close to this somewhere? Do I need to go in, or am I going to find it unless I get an ore detector on this? Where is the ice? Oh. I'm going to put a GPS marker here for now. Uh, space, space base. So I know how to get back to my my biggest hole. And then if I go back into here. Okay. Okay, there's ice right over here. Ah! Darn it, I did it again. is more kind of like right here so if I I don't know why I decided that was a good idea okay 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave the ship here for a moment. Um oh wait, I don't have a Okay, let's put a GPS marker right here. Yeah, that was all kinds of dumb. Um slash GPS and I'm gonna go uh to ice here. Okay. Okay, and then just get away from the rock. I'm gonna have to fix my ship up after that um, really interesting approach to the problem. Uh, where's my base base? Okay. What's going on? Go back around. Where's my... Where's the space base? Two ice here. Okay, there's the space base. Okay. I could probably just move the ore detector. I can I can make a new one actually once I get it. I want to get a basic little drill rig showing. Okay, so if I go in here, and I look at for where's the two ice, two ice here. Okay, so if I go in from the base here a little bit and. Uh, I guess the question is should I just start building into the wall with drills and stuff so that I can collect all of this rock so where did I put my little hole two eyes here there's my hole. Okay. So I'm going to uh, build from here. Into the, into the rock a bit. get over to where I am. Whoops, what did I just do? Where do you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I never found any on any asteroids. We talk, yeah, the uranium, right? Um, I have yet to find uranium in the world. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Uh, Nathan Barry, hello, welcome. Uh, the blue st strip down the bottom is almost as big as the Apple Mac chin bar. I mean, there was a time when any resource could be found only on asteroids. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, there was a point in time where there were only six asteroids as well. <laughs> yes, there was, yeah, that is true as well. Where am I trying to get to here? There's my hole. <clears throat> All right, so I think 
This is the first drilling spot. We'll start building in here. So the question is, is how easy is it going to be to try and set some of this up? Okay. <clears throat> so let us, uh, like I want to start drilling. I'm going to, I'm going to get all this rock. I'm just going to drilling towards where the ice is and then slowly build out a bit of a place for us. Like probably be good to be like a small little airtight room to begin with. Um, a place to store all of the rock um, that we're making. So first thing I need <clears throat> would just be a, a storage thing, right? So a container, a cargo. I'd like to build a large one. How much does it take to build a large one? Okay, so let's go grab some interior plates. It's a lot of stuff, but I think we brought enough to build one of these. But, uh, I do you want to try and make sure we have at least the basics of supports underneath it? Uh, da, 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 da. How do you screenshot again? Isn't it like, if it's in Steam, isn't it just like F10? Or F12? There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I got it wrong, obviously. Uh, cool. I'm going to want some... I need a power source. So what's the best way to generate power in space? Solar, I guess? I should build like solar array out here, right? Facing that star. Until I can get a refinery up that I can start refining this um, uranium. A power source. <laughs> uh, you have plenty of pl uh, palladium though. Yeah, I need to find platinum. I don't know why I keep saying palladium. Um, okay. All right. Are you done? Yeah. Cool. Well, you need, still need a few more interior plates, but you actually have... <clears throat> okay. So we are going to need... So we got a place to store stuff. Now we need to get some sun. So if I build out from here <clears throat> and I've got that, that script too for like, for like the sun thing, but I guess I don't need that out in space, right? If I just build like out like this and then um, I can build solar panels on either side of this, just facing that way. And then just keep kind of keep building out off of that, right? So let's go. What do we need for solar panels though? I didn't even think about bringing stuff for solar panels. So if I was to build like one like this facing the star, is that, is that a good angle? Well, I guess it might still make sense to build a uh, I could just build a hinge, right? And then I can just twist it so that... Okay. Where's my ship?
You do need the script? Okay. Well, what, so how should I be building this? Is a hinge a good idea? Uh, da, 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 da. Usually stick with hydrogen for my thrust. Uh, hey, yes, you do need that script. So Bernie Bear, so I, like I should use that script even out in space, huh? To make sure that it's it's oriented properly. So what what's the best setup for this thing? Is a hinge a good idea or is it like two rotors still? So if I put a like a rotor here so that it can twist this way and this way. And then I need so it needs to be able to twist this way, this way. And then also like this way, this way. Yeah, rotors can. All right. Uh, uh, I don't need advanced rotors, right? Because I'm not transferring any um, energy low. Oh, energy. my bottle doing okay still over half full good for a little bit okay so i want to put a rotor How, how's best to do this so do i put a rotor like on the side here and then i need a block like that right and then i put a rotor like Never built one of these before, so and I build a rotor like this, and then and then I build the solar panels off of that. Is that kind of the right the right setup? Then uh, I probably want. Do, 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 do. You are building it backwards for the most part. <laughs> I wonder if hinges would even work with that script. I don't know if they have such a limited range of motion compared to mo rotors. I mean, so long as they are named right, it should work. So how, how am I supposed to build this thing? <laughs> how am I building this backwards? I guess I could look at the actual uh, um, script page. And see, uh, generally left and right should be the base and up and down off the base rotor. Also make it much taller for more solar panels. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, I have a post in it. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking at the script uh, just to see if it gives me any advice here. Um, Variants. Yeah, they don't have a 
good pitcher. Oh wait. Oh, am I looking at the wrong? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong mod. Da, 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 where is it here? Oh, okay. Okay, I think I, I think I see the basic idea. Right, so. So I want to put the rotor on here like that. What, what did I just do? Okay, so I go up, I put a rotor there, and then I want to put like a bit of a base here. So if I put that there, and then I can actually put like another rotor on the side like this and on the side like this. And then have two sets of solar panels. So if I build out from here on either side, I can put solar panels on top and bottom of this. And then it can rotate so if I go, and I might want to go further out from my rock, but uh, so like the idea being then that the solar panels would go like here, and then I need to, uh, I should have built four, so I'll go like that, and like that. Oops. Darn it. Then I can just kind of keep building them out to the sides if I need more power. I'm worried I put so like something like that. Is that right? Facing the star, which is over there. Yeah, exactly. You don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so something like that. But now that I look at this, if the star is going to be over there, um, how does space engineers work again? It's the star moves around everything in the center, right? Like so that that actually will move, right? It won't stay there. It kind of goes like around the universe. So putting, moving this structure over there won't actually do anything um, like to keep it out of the way of things coming and going because that star is going to continue to move around, right? Sun moves around. Yeah, okay. All right. So actually, it probably makes sense then like with this thing moving around. If I had a solar panel here and eventually if I actually have the base span all the way to the other side, I could have another solar array on the other side. That way we can be getting solar... Um, as it goes around on both sides. But I do think that maybe, because there is some like blocking, I wonder if it should go up a little higher. Yeah, that would probably work. Well, we'll start here. I, I do think though that before I build this, I probably should make it go up a little bit higher. Make it tall, yeah. Okay. 
Ow. that that looks pretty good I think okay so let's go back to our oh not or detector not the or detector okay you might want it a bit further from the hole as well kind of Brazilian or landing strip. Uh, I see what you're saying. Because um, if I've got traffic coming and going from here, having the solar array like right there might not be the greatest plan. Okay. So if I like build out away from the hole. It's not just like right in its path. And uh, da, da, da. exactly. And this way it's less likely to get in the shadow as well. Yeah. Energy low. Kind of like okay, so if I I'm gonna put maybe one more out and then we'll start building up from here. Let's go get some energy. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Yeah, let's go sit in the seat and I'm going to check my... Yeah, my bottle is, is starting to get low, but it's still good for the moment. I won't change it out until it's empty. And I will, if I need to, I'll go get some more ice um, manually. But yeah, let's build the solar array starting to come out over here. Looks like a decent height. Still plates. No, oh, because I got caps lock on. Uh, I'm yelling at everything. So I want the indicator bars to be along the bottom edge here. And then along the top edge. We'll start with this. Uh, we'll build them up as we go. 
So first thing I need to do, oh, and then we're gonna need a, we need a, like a programmable block to make this work, right? But we'll start by just building it up. So, what did I use? Is that a steel plate? Yeah. That looks different than I'm used to. Okay, so I want you, 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 I want you. Try and get at least one, one panel going to start with. And then we can just add more. that and then I think I will build out at least so I want enough for this and this and then for this now I'm gonna obviously need to build I didn't bring like solar panel stuff with me which which would have been smart but I didn't think about that until I was building stuff So I need 32 solar cells. What does it take to make a solar cell? And until I can build that solar cell, I'm gonna have no power. So, <clears throat> can I make a solar cell with a basic assembler or do I need a full sized assembler? Actually, if I just, uh, no, I do need to go in and look at production solar cells. I can. Basic assembly can make them. I need, I need a, what, 32? So let's go, nope. Let's go. Okay. So we need nickel and silicon to make them. So I, I got, I, okay. So I can just drill uh, stone to make them. So I need enough. I need to just drill some stone so that I can make enough to, where's my, Might as well start just using this. So, oh, what is it? Uh, it's F, hold F. Inventory full. Yeah, I need a, I think I might want to bring the ship closer without damaging it. Let's start by just putting what I have into here. Let it start working away on it. Let's go back into the ship. Okay. So what I want to do... Oh. On the rock.
I've still got the ore detector on. I should turn that off. What am I doing? I have no way to stop this thing without crashing. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, keep getting lost in my own ship. Okay, so you are there. Uh, where is my hole again. Okay, so there is there. Okay, your ship is there. If I line up with the hole this way. Okay. So let's go get rock. I think I really do need to put a thruster on the front. <laughs> like this way it's just quicker to Drop everything off. Let it build what I need to build. Inventory full. Oh, and I still haven't turned off the, uh... Da, 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 da. Let's turn off the ore detector. That takes a lot of power. Uh, out. Which way is out? Oh, I accidentally found it. Basic somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so where is there we are? got enough to make one solar panel. Oh, no, wait. Okay, I think I read that wrong. I thought it queued up like 30 some. Let's make sure that it's actually building this stuff. So if I go into here and I. Oh, okay. We got a bunch here. There we go. All right, so we got a solar panel. 
That is receiving light, looks like, maybe. That is on this. So now to be the most effective with that, I would need, like I want more than one solar panel, obviously, but it needs a computer, a programmable block that I can use to, okay, so let's go program. Four yellow means no input. Oh, okay, good to know. Rotor I don't need, solar panel I don't need right now, that I don't need on there right now. Basic assembly I don't need on there right now. Mm -mm -mm. Yellow means no power. Green bars mean power. Yeah, the sun's gone behind the uh, the sun, or gone behind the asteroid. Uh, so I want a programmable block to make this script work ultimately. So for the moment, maybe I'll just, I don't think you lose anything with this, right? If you, uh, oh, I need some steel plates. If I need to move it, I can move that without any worry. Um, oh, I've still got a, an extra s a solar panel in there. Okay. Good to know. So let's just, for, for the moment, we'll put a solar or, or a programmable block right here. I am going to need a battery as well. That, though, I will lose stuff if I need to move it. Offline, so next up is edit. Nope. Close out of this. No. Uh, is it script? No. Nope. How did I do this again? Uh. No content. Opens code editor. Programmable block. I found this before. Script. What am I missing? <laughs> Wasn't there a, there was a button for like workshop script or something on, on the base down below. What am I missing? Oh, and do upload download. Oh, browse script, man. Okay. Uh, Izzy solar alignment, copy to editor. Okay. Is there anything I want to set up in this? Uh, all right, so string, so rotor group name is Solar Rotors. Name, name of the group with all the solar related rotors not needed in gyro mode. Okay, so I need to make a group called Solar Space Rotors that has those three rotors in it. And then by enabling gyro mode, this script will no longer use rotors, but all gyroscopes on the grid instead. Oh no, that's not what we want. Name of the reference group for gyro mode. Don't need that. Rotate to sunrise. So I want solar. Rotors. Okay, so check code. Okay. And then I need to go rot 
Rotors. So all three of these. So this is rotor. Um, and then I'll put all three of these in a group named Solar Rotors. And then we have a programmable block, which has script in it, right? But it can't run yet because it has no power, right? But when it comes online, hopefully it'll start to move into place. So until then, we can get some more rotors on it. Don't use gyro mode. It's for ships. Ah. Oh, interesting. Okay, good to know. Cool. Okay. So now the question is, is we're going to need more solar panels. So let's get some of those going. Um, So if I just go up here and I say, right click on this. Actually, you're just gonna need a bunch of, I don't know how much, I, I probably have enough to build most of the rest of this. I just need solar cells. So, uh, so each one needs 32 panels and we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels. So we're gonna need about 220, 230 solar panels. So let's go back over to you. And production, uh, basic assembler. We need about, so if I go 220, 24 we've got one so we should be able to just go like that to make 200 224 panels and then an inventory solar we've got one okay so hopefully i think i think i did the math right uh that should give us enough panels when i when we have enough stuff so i'm gonna go mine some stuff manually until we can get that working because once we have that working or at least a few more panels working. I want to then make a drill that can just get, do this instead of me manually doing it. Energy low. Oh. Energy low. Oh, and we're almost out of oxygen, so I should get my new bottle. I also kind of get myself away from the wall a bit. And where is the place to drop stuff off? It's right there. Okay, so if I actually, if I use the bottom one, so let's rotate around so that that is pointed at 
where I'm going to be coming out. Alright, so now, hopefully it's even easier to kind of go in and out once I can figure out where I'm going. There we go. So now we come out of this hole with a bunch of stuff. And we can go straight here. Yay! Oh, I went through 52% of that bottle real fast. Trying to make an idiot myself, but I still can't fly very well, so. Just that. Out. So what, how much solar energy do you think I will need to get the basic, uh, so if I go back up here and I, let's just deposit this and get the last little bits that I just mined out of that hole, because I wonder if like two or three would be enough just to get them, just to get a mine, like a drill going with the programmable block. Uh, da, da, da. Put a drill on your spaceship. Oh yeah, there's an idea. There are shocks, hey. Problem is, is that I, I don't have enough, I, I don't have a thruster to stop myself. Um, uh, you're also really going to need at least two batteries or it won't run right. Yeah, right, yeah. Especially when the sun goes behind the thing, right? The ship is lacking a reverse thruster. Yes, exactly, I see. <laughs> it was meant to, it was supposed to just be a rocket. <laughs> and it, it did that. It rocketed. Uh, How many panels do we have right now? Oh, okay, we can definitely make another one. Let's grab all of those. Let's build out this guy next, I guess. And then we'll build, we'll build this side first. Okay, so let's get uh, everything we need for that. Of course, moving the ship in means it's farther away for me to build this other thing, but, uh... Not working all 31 solar panels. Okay, we're... 
And do I get disoriented fast? Okay, so this guy is now built up. Uh, believe it or not, he is an OG. He just hasn't played since shortly after Planet. Yeah, it's been a very long time. Uh, I'm getting back into it. Back into the game. Okay, let's let's build up. And, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, curse! I probably need. Um, should be just getting some more materials, right? Yeah, because it doesn't look like the uh, solar cells are building anymore. I need more materials. Where is my thing? Okay, we'll build up. We'll get this one side built up to start with. So we need solar cells and solar cells. That's all we need. Okay, and then we just need a bit more for that. So let's let's clear out the planner. Okay, so I want this. I want this. Right, and so yeah, it's just solar cells that I'm missing, and then a bunch of steel plates. Okay. So I'm gonna just kill all of that for now. And then we're just going to, what is my, okay, I still have 52% for my, uh, where's the hole? There we are. Yeah, let's get back into the game. And what works and what doesn't anymore. There's a lot of stuff that's changed. Like that build planner is amazing. Um, I feel like the ship kept moving a little bit after I parked it. <laughs> Which totally makes sense. There's a no reverse thruster. Batteries. Uh, you can make battery stuff with a basic, right? Yeah, cool. Basically, I'm just trying, I just want to get to the point where I can make a drill again. Um, so I don't have to do all of this manual drilling. Get some power, get some batteries. And then I need to drill to the ice. It's the first main goal. So that we can keep ourselves alive in space. Did I see like a whole bunch of stuff just floating around? No, okay. There's my hole. I think we have enough to get another one going here. So let's go let's grab all of these guys. Do we have any more in here? Yep. Okay, and then I just needed a, a bunch of steel plates as well, right? Oh, wrong way. I want to try and make sure that we've got some of these going 
before the sun comes up again. Don't want to miss the window. Energy low. Okay, so we just need solar cells. Is the only thing we're missing for that. That one's up. That one's up. Uh, let's just build this while I'm here with, with the blocks. Okay. Just get the steel plates in these ones. Okay. Done with steel plates over here. Okay. Now, let's make sure that we can get some more of those plates going. Or, sorry, not plates. Uh, solar cells. Solar cells. Solar cells. Okay, we got eight more coming. What's our production like? Are we, we've, yeah, okay, we've stalled out on production. Energy critical. Oh, energy, 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 energy. Where's my door? Jeez. Uh,. Oh, okay, this is why there is already a big container. <laughs> yeah, the container is where all of the, where the drill is going to drop into is the plan. How's my bottle looking? Okay, my bottle's still looking all right for the moment. All right, uh, drill, 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 drill. I have a pretty decent base on the planet, actually. I started on the ice planet. What's the name of that one? Triton? Um, so I built out a, a decent manufacturing situation on the planet uh, so that I could build this rocket ship to get to space. And I found ice here to keep us going, but there's also uh, uranium here, so that's good. Uh, but ultimately, I'm trying to find platinum, but I need a little bit of a staging location. That I know I can come back to and stay alive at before I start traveling out into the stars. And by stars, I mean void, I guess. Because there's only one star here. Hole. Where are you, hole? Man, I do this all the time. looking 33 built what's our production queue we still need a hundred more uh oh where are you hole <laughs> that's what he's inventory full Oh no, you distracted me and I lost my hole again.
All right. Is there light yet? Not yet. Okay, this one will now be done. All right, so we got half up. Let me just put the rest here. That one's actually gonna, that one actually could be finished. Let me, let me grab what we need to just finish that off. Just needs okay, so these ones still need all of the solar cells and stuff. Okay, so that gets me I got five panels up at the moment. Let's get a battery down. Now if I need to move the battery, that's gonna be a problem. So where do I wanna kind of probably need make let's make this uh uh the starts of a of a room that I can use to seal in ultimately. How are we doing for stuff in here? Uh, I still got a fair number of things, so. All right, so I need a battery. So where do I think I'm gonna put the room? I think I'll maybe build a room over here to, ult to be like an, air an airtight place. So if that's what I'm thinking, like, cause then I'll have like the, the computer in here. So. That's uh, Just cut this out a little bit. Bunch of yeah, okay. That. So if that's if this is where I think I'm gonna build a bit of a room, uh, let's make. Where would I put a battery where I'm not gonna want to move it? Oh look at yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's burning. Um, if I put a wall out this way. And I put a wall, or I guess I guess I can encompass this um, container, or I can have the container on the outside, which would mean I would need a connect connection there into this wall, and then the wall could go like right here. So why don't we put uh, Do I have any more floaties? Get those. Do I not have any? Oh, I put it all away when I put the uh, uh, steel. Let's grab some of those and then let's go back over here. So I think it'd probably be safe to put battery ultimately right there. Let's just drill that out a bit. Try not to have any floaties around.
Oops. Right. There's no gravity. Oh, but I have boots. Right. I can do that. <laughs> okay. So. Started right clicking just to get out some of the excess here. Okay. I'm going to put a battery there and then maybe another one beside it. And then we'll encompass this in a room ultimately. So, battery. So we need steel plates and da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there will be a wall behind this eventually. So for now, I'm going to put the battery right here. And then we'll move that, that guy forward one, ultimately. Uh, but let's make sure that that looks like it's the correct. Just put a battery there. We need power cells. Why do we need to build power cells? Okay, we got a bunch more solar and we can put uh, the rock can go into the... Will it just take it if I throw it somewhere? It should, right? If I just go boom. There. Take the rock. Uh, energy low. Energy is low. Let's take all of these solar panels. And then let's go get some energy. Oh, come on. Actually, take a look. Let's go sit in the chair and take a look at my... Okay, 10% oxygen. Okay, we're getting to the point where I'm probably going to have to go get some ice. Because uh, i got one more oxygen bottle. When I'm down to the last oxygen bottle, I probably should just go grab up some ice so that I can refill them. Um... Seems like a safe bet. Basic assembler. What is the... So I need... 65 of those. And I'm missing items. Iron, silicon, and nickel. Nickel, silicon. Okay, yeah. So I just need more dirt to make that. Uh... I think I'm going to have those go first. Let me just go back out here though and put solar panel. Man, it takes a while for that sun to come around. So that's going to have everything it needs except for solar cells. That battery. Okay, so we need to drill a little bit more. Where's my hole? Okay, wet, wet. There it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got a lot of stuff that we can just come back and get. Full. 
Inventory full. It might make sense to get that other solar array on the other side as well eventually. Inventory if the full. sun is going to take this long to get around the asteroid. That's why the battery is going to be super important too, is like collecting power, storing it so that we have power when the sun is on. We need to have enough power being generated while the sun is out, more than we are using so that we can continue to store. Then we need to have enough stored to last until the sun comes around again. This seems like a lot. Once again, there it is, Ken. Inventory full. Inventory full. Oh my goodness, what a... <laughs> Just flew right into that rock face plant. the hole. Whoa! Thought I had it. Inventory full. There we go. Oh, a couple of floaters out here. Okay, how are we doing for production? Okay, we got 34. Okay, we're still going to need quite a bit more. Some things that I wish I'd thought about bringing up before I left. You know, at least enough for a battery and enough for the basic, like, mining setup. Things I'm learning. Reminding myself about. Inventory full. And I was thinking about it before we flew up. I'm like, you know, what should I be bringing with me? But then I was like, I just want to go to space. <laughs> We just went to space. the hole again. There we go. There's my oxygen. Okay. 
Not the most horrible thing yet. Actually, you know what? Probably, like, I'm building this nice little hole over here, and I know, like, I do need to go towards the ice ultimately, but this actually might not be a bad place to build, like, a little hidey hole. As I build it, like, as I just cut it all out to get what I need for mining. hidden away so if something does nasty comes in here then it doesn't get seen right away Almost ready to build a battery. you guys all come from energy low okay, we gotta go fill up our energy again where is the whoop cockpits this way percent on the oxygen bottle how are we doing for production okay so actually we're able to build the oh didn't quite get all of the power i needed okay so i should be able to build up this battery now Am I? My fiery turret is how I know how to go. How <laughs> I get get it back to where I need to be. Um, okay, so then that is that, and let's go grab. Who needs lights when you have fiery turrets, huh? Okay. Okay, we got a battery now. And then we'll just go grab as many of the solar cells that have been built. Oh, wait, did I make more batteries than I needed? Interesting. I thought I added it from the, the build queue. Oh, there's a whole bunch down here. Do I have enough to make another battery? So, is this enough just to finish that last 
Oh, hey, we got power. Okay. So we got six up and we got power. Is this thing moving to go for the sun? Is it working? I think it is working, huh? See, it's already rotated. Okay, so we've got six panels up. We've got a battery. Thinking probably a battery and what is it doing? Recharging 30%. Cool. So it probably makes sense to get on another battery just to make sure that we don't lose any power. And it looks like I made a bunch of solar cells that I didn't need to make. So let's put another battery inside this one, maybe. I want to put it, say, if I'm going to build the bowl, the wall out this way more, I'm going to put it there. I need a couple of these. Uh, steel. Okay. Okay, and then let's pick a battery right there. Okay, and then how much did I actually overbuild for this? I feel like maybe I added two batteries to the queue without realizing it. Which is good. That's what, uh, that's what was recommended for me to build anyway. It was two batteries. Steel plates. And we'll finish those solar cells. Now we've got a couple of batteries to store energy. And then we just need more solar cells, which assuming we just need, yeah, okay. So we need to go back and do a bit of drilling, but hopefully now we're storing map, uh, storing power while we do this. Sixteen production. Okay, I'm gonna need some more. I think I need more than sixteen to finish one more. Do, do, 
do. Inventory full. Full. All right, how are we doing? 37, that's definitely enough to... Oh, and we're out of oxygen, so I'm going to need to go on a nice run. Pretty quickly here. Where is out though? Okay, you've got 16 in you already. Now you've got 32. Okay, and you've almost got everything you need, so let's uh, go to you and you. I think we're about to finish these two panels. Oh, why do I have... Okay, put everything in there. Draw everything out. Okay. Where is... There you are. Alright. Uh, what? Okay, I want you. I want you. One solar cell. All remote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got everything. Excellent. Energy low. Okay. So we got two batteries and we've got what? Eight? One, two, three. Four. We have eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight. Um, solar panels. And we should be charging. Okay, they're both recharging. Very good, very good, very good. All right, and then the next thing that we need to do is get my energy back, get my new bottle, and then go get some ice. So this guy's empty. Let's drop you back into here. Let's drop you into here. That's gonna probably pop you back down to 50% there pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Used up 50% of the bottle in one one glug. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here and let that collect power while we Go to where the ice is, and I believe the ice is... I have a marker for the ice, right? Ice. Go bunch of ice. Inventory full. Okay, did I put? You know, I'm gonna put a marker for the ice, like 
right here. So if I go uh, GPS um, actual ice. Just so I, I'm going to add that there and then that'll help me drill to the right spot, I think. Okay, and then where is the ship? Da, da, da. Where's the entrance? This way. Uh, that one actually is quite a ways away. We might be going somewhere closer than that. But that's good to know that it's over there. Okay, so now I want to quickly go into the ship, grab all of the empty bottles. Because the ship's going to try and steal all of this. So let's grab the empty bottles. Put it in my... Oh, I can't because I have... Uh, okay. Well, I can do it from... Do I have an... There we are. Okay. Let's go over to here. And see my seat. And I can see this here. So if I drop everything into here and then I grab the empty bottles into my inventory and then I go into here let's find the H2O2 okay there now all our bottles are full and the rest of the ice will be used to refill the ship so let's put these two back into here I've got hydrogen and okay good 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 all right, so there. Now we can survive a little bit longer while we do the rest of this work. If I can figure out how to get out of my own ship again. There we go. Okay, so we've got power uh, being stored. We've got the basics for power generation. Power being stored. We've got the sun still up. Let's try and take advantage of this and build a drill. So where is, okay, we got this here. Now I was thinking originally we were going to go this way for ice. Actual ice is 118 that way, two ice. Okay, yeah, so that is the one actually I was, I was pointing at. So to start with then, if we just build, what I could do actually is build a hinge Right? If I go hinge, and I just put a hinge on this guy. I'm just going to put a drill right on the end of that hinge and then we'll just drill and then we'll turn it down and that should hopefully build us the base uh, enough of a let's see well, it's worth, if it was worth a try it'll start getting us some stuff right off the bat uh might have to do a little cutting away right underneath it because the drill head will go this way but I'll probably have to cut away some of this okay and then then I kind of need just the basics of Refining, right? So I need a start with just the basics. 
basic refinery and a basic assembler. So basic refinery. If I just stick one of these right on the side of this guy. All of this can come apart eventually. Okay, and then I need a basic assembler. Now I've got some production on the new grid. Okay. So now if I go into you and say, turn on, if there's anything just around you, we'll start getting that. Is there a connector on the bottom of this? No. Okay. So then if I just go into here, and we go to production and I go, uh, no. So we got the basic assembler, right? And then if I go to inventory, basic refinery is working away on stuff. Very good. There. So now we got the basics going on the new base. Actually, you know what might... A big drill. That's cleaning out some of the stuff there. There's definitely no way it's going to eat out underneath this. Yeah, there, I mean, there's lots of rock here. It's not like I'm... Let's just... Just make sure that it can turn here. Ah! Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. So I should be able to just get some... Production. First thing you're gonna build is steel plates. Okay. So now if I go into you, and I very closely watch while I hinge. So if I go velocity, point zero, zero, two, five. Which way is it moving? Lower limit 90, upper limit by reverses. It's moving. Okay. 
And if I need to, I'll just quickly kind of like break some stuff out of the way as it goes. Finally got the drilling going. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got a, the basic setup on here, right? Little platform. Just using a hinge to kind of clean this area out. We'll see if this works. Um, I've got two, uh, two batteries over there. I've got the solar array set up out here. Collecting like all, all eight of them going now. Is the hinge okay? Just want to make sure that this is going to actually clear out enough underneath it. put a little survival kit on this guy as well, I think. So far, so good. I think we're going to be okay. I think about it, I probably should put the uh, put like three drills on here, huh? And then you just kinda like rough out a good good section here. I think we're gonna be okay. Might need to pull out a bit of this. I don't know. Oh, we got a mining. We got a red guy coming. Uh, more is always better, except when it comes to explos explosives in the fire. Yeah. All right. So if I go into here, I think I built yeah a bunch of plates. I'm thinking. This area should get built up a little bit more. Just so that it doesn't take one one point of damage and then explode. Fully down now. Cool. So we've got 
No longer need the hand drill, I don't think. We got a bunch of stone coming in. We got a bit of nickel, silicon, and iron coming in now. We got a basic production set up over here. We still can't refine the, uh... I'm going to need to actually put a thruster on the front of this just so that I can... But it needs to be hooked up, right? Uh... Where, where could I put, I've kind of just been sticking stuff on the sides, haven't I? I mean, I could start, I could just put, put one right here for now, just so that I can back out. Oh, is this not connected anymore? That might be, I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, I'm actually probably going to have to disconnect anyway if I want to. Yeah, like this, this whole contraption is kind of odd. Um, let's see, if I wanted to build a... Uh, what is it? And then duh, 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 large, no. Large, well, uh, let's get rid of this and this and this and this, this. So if I go to this one, right, this lets me change it to the smaller ones. Hydrogen thruster. All right, so I'd need to point it forward, right? So it means I would have to stick it there and it would need a connector. So we need a connector. Maybe just a, maybe one of those and then then I definitely do need to get rid of this. Okay. So, oh wait, actually before I do that, we want to put a fiver there. Oh no. Do I not have what I need to? Oh, okay. No, I just didn't have the inventory space. Okay. Bear junction and then a forward facing source. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, is that going to burn? Is that going to burn my cockpit? Probably, huh? <laughs> is that going to burn my cockpit? Uh, no, it won't burn the glass. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know. All right, so if now I want to go into my thing here and say thrust. Um, and I want to go hydrogen thrusters should also include this guy. Save. Only if it's more than a third high. Is it 
it on? It's not on. Why aren't you on? Uh... Oh, probably because it was already on and then I... Okay, so... I want to... Back it up. Cool. Now I can actually move my ship in all directions. And then... Cool. So now I can actually, like, maneuver in all directions, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I think there needs to be a way to connect the ship up. So its connector is on the side there. So if I was to come in, probably going to want to move this programmer programming block off to the side. And then I can run a tube. Well, I can run the tube right, right over the top, can't I? Like, if I was going to put a wall there, ultimately, and then have, like, this be a little room that I can walk out to my ship that's docked out here. Kind of, like, kind of have it fly in on the side like this, and then dock it up. What would that look like? solar panel um okay so now if i turn this way yeah that was a really good call on moving those solar panels further back okay so then i would want to rotate the ship so it came in like this and then yeah so like because that's on the top right so yeah i'd want to rotate like this, then line it up, kind of like this, so now let's see, what would be the best place to do a, so you come out here, ship comes in like this, solar panels are over there, Probably be fairly straightforward to just run a connection straight out like this. That might work, huh? I come out the side maybe, and then run the run the connector line straight that way, and then that would let me hook the ship up there, and then. Yeah, let's try that. You're still going. You don't need to be still going. Let's reverse the control panel, the hinge. Let's just reverse that. But I want it to... So right now it's at minus 88. So I want this to be upper limit to be zero for now. Keep it there. And then once it gets straight, we might put another drill on the sides of it and let it go down again to make a bigger, bigger opening. Uh, actually, we can let it go at like full speed.
don't actually need to do that. I can just go out here and grab what I need for this. Right. I'll turn this guy on as well. Set the velocity back to zero point zero. I think I had it at, and then that reverse. Okay, and then you should just be getting all kinds of stone that goes into the refinery okay so for now and i think we're pretty much yeah we're still fairly empty so we'll just let that go while we try and connect up the ship all right so if i go uh, i do have the connector pipes here i don't need that on here anymore so number six so i want to kind of build it out. What do I need? Interior plates. Okay, let's just go grab some interior plates so that we can run the line. Okay, so I want to go straight. Out. And then if, if this place is going to be a bit of a, a room here, let's make it go on the outside. So go another one out and then we'll turn in like that. We'll run this outside of the room.
I like it when it kind of looks like it runs with the um, the terrain, right? Just cut out just enough to to get it to work and make it look like it's running with the terrain. So let's go kind of like right here and turn around. See what that's like. Uh, might have gone too quickly. Cut out too much. Yeah, I went up instead of darn it. That's why you don't go so fast. Jeez, where am I? <laughs> Where's the outside? There you are. Okay. So the ship will need to line up that or I can pull it back in uh, took more than half a large tank and Energy two small tanks low. of hydrogen scouting asteroids in my large ship before I finally found uranium I even was using a jump drive to choose most of the distances and use dampeners off. So I probably checked over 20 to 30 asteroids before getting there. Oh, wow, I see. That sucks. That went out further to the side than I thought it was going to. I'm glad you found it though. Let's maybe move this in this way now. Come back in a little bit. And I'm thinking like maybe like a dock, like so somewhere where you can walk out onto here. So if I bring this in like this and you walk out that connector. Oh, I'm almost out of energy. So if this is where the little hut's going to be and you walk out Kind of like from there, out here, and then that guy hooks up maybe like right here. So let's put a junction right there, and then this guy can connect up flanged. Do like that there, and then we put a connector 
Energy critical. Uh, probably should do something about my energy, yeah. What happens if you run out of energy in space, your jetpack doesn't work and then you just float dead forever? Or you, until you die? I forget. <laughs> so is that a good good size or I wonder actually do I need like a because that leg it's kind of out as far or in as far as I would like it to go so wonder if it actually makes more sense to put a inventory full oh, really <laughs> it makes more sense to put like a piston there and let it extend out like it did down on the planet. Still plates. Like that. I might as well just do it up since I've got the stuff. You slowly die. Jetpack works until you run out of H2. So the jetpack would still work. So you could still, if you run out of energy, you can still fly back and uh, re re up. Okay. So I want the connector now. Five on there. Just getting the function in, so like this will connect all the way out to here. But yeah, I want to build like a, a little airtight hut here and then a walkway out to a nice platform up here and the ship will then connect into here. Um, and I guess actually I could even connect it right now. It won't be able to transfer stuff, but it would actually be hooked up. So if I... Go look at this and I say piston and we reverse it.
There. Chip comes in. So if that is how I would land it, then... Oh, interesting, yeah. So <laughs> I'm upside down, basically. Come, I get out. I want to redesign things a little bit so that this is a nicer dock, a nicer docking. But it still does come out here and then leads me into, oh no, it leads me in from there. This is up. Man, yeah, like everything is so discombobulated. It would actually work a lot better if I had that connector over here. And then when you got up out of the seat, you walked around and then there was a door here that then let you out and walk out. That might be something I do. Of course, it's gonna change how I have to land back at, at base camp, but. But yeah, that's connected up. Um, now I've actually got a bunch of batteries on here that are probably just charging the base, right? Are, um, Fully recharged in 29 minutes. And we've got these guys. Are they actually charging or are they discharging? Really recharged. Okay, so we've got enough power to be charging right now based on the solar array. Where's my solar array? There it is. Probably makes sense to build this out bigger than this. And I wish I'd put them the other way now. Oh, I should turn off the all the hydrogen stuff. It's connected to my ship now. We got a dock at port. To figure out how I want to do this, ultimately. But just for for the moment, I want to grab. Uh, enough. Just grab some steel plates out of here for the moment. Can I not grab some steel plates? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay, so just to connect this up a little bit better. That goes down to the solar array. Oh, that's kind of neat too. Like I could actually walk out of here and then make it so that there's like a staircase that kind of goes down to the solar array for maintenance and stuff like that, huh? I like that, I like that, I like that. Um, so if we build this out as a more of a floor. It connects up here. We can have a staircase that leads up to that. So what do we have for stairs? Uh, graded stairs. The construction components. And this thing has turned into quite the monstrosity. Uh, might change how I'm going to do this, but for the moment, 
making kind of like something like this. All right, so like you would be like there'd be a little nice little habitat thing going on over here. Uh, and you can walk up here. And then this would be a nice big dock. And then you could walk out onto the, like put, put a, some sort of a, maybe above it. Like you probably have to go up one higher, right? And then you could have a, um, a catwalk system that goes all the way out over top of this. Cause you wouldn't want it connected to this, but it could, it could take you all the way out to the ship. Make this like a nice little airtight room. AFK. Away from keyboard. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put all of this stuff in here. This guy's still going. Oh. That's a good start though. We got some, some stuff coming in. We got a little bit of a, a refinery. We actually have drills going, um, which will now slowly extend into this. I'm gonna piston them all the way down so that we can get to the ice. Actual ice is there. So yeah, so ultimately I'll, I'll run like a, like we'll slowly piston them down, make a long tunnel and maybe just like three by three like this um, with a piston that then rotates so makes a nice just a beautiful tunnel all the way into the rock and then run the conveyor line down behind it so that we never go past like three pistons um and then get all the way to that ice and then that should give us more than enough material to actually build out this area here a little bit better Yeah, I like this. We got a way to connect this up. We've got some power generation happening. This has definitely got to get um, more power going on. But uh, I think it's a good start. Found a little home. We found some ice. We've got some uranium. Uh, I need to find... Uh, uh, what was it? Palladium? No. I keep saying palladium, but it's not palladium. It's... Uh, or blue P. Platinum. And platinum. Yes. <laughs> uh, let me top up all this. And I'm not a huge fan of leaving things connected. So I'm going to go into the ship. And then I'm going to switch lock. Turn that off, but I'll just leave it right here. That's the beginnings of a dock. I think we did all right. Like we got into space. We made a, we found a nice place to get started setting up. I got a ship that I can dock with. This is going to get, I think this is going to get redesigned a bit. Um, I might even just kill all of the, uh, all of the ion, all of the ion thrusters. And like you said, just go, like you said, icing, just go with the uh, um, hydrogen as the propulsion drive for this thing. Uh, oh, we never did put a parachute on this. I should put a parachute on this before we uh, try to land it just to make sure that I don't just blow everything up. Um, but I might redesign this a little bit. I still think I, I like the idea of, of landing it like a rocket and taking off like a rocket. And then once it gets in the space, it turns into a spaceship like this. Um, but I want to redesign it a little bit so that it works better with this dock as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Got the very basics of of thing going on over here. So we can just turn these off now because they're fully down. All the drills. 
Turn them off. And it's gonna, I think I'm gonna wanna extend it like so. Obviously, we're not gonna want it right up against like this. I'm gonna have it come out a bit and then go down so it can get the three by three. So it's gonna have to be like, like five. Um, right, so three by three that can spin then and give it a space extra so I can make um, a walking platform around it at, at like five by five around the hole and then have a three by three central hole that spins down. I think that's what we'll do here, ultimately. Uh, we gotta connect all of this up. What are we looking like for actual... I got a, we got a little bit of stone that's being worked through. We got a little bit of... And, and once I get this hooked up too, I think I'll take everything that's off. Whoa. Grab you. Um, take everything that that's on here and I'll, and I'll put it into the base because we can build way more down on the base. So I'm just going to unload this stuff all into this little base so that we can build this, uh, build this out next time. Are we still uh, making energy here? Fully recharged in four hours, yeah. And we want to probably extend that solar panel array for sure. But uh, yeah, it's a good start. I think I'm going to end it here, though, for today. I've been streaming for quite some time, uh, I believe. <laughs> uh, what does it say here? Yeah, going on almost seven hours. <laughs> All right, we did we did some work. Um, almost seven hours, there you go, yeah. Uh, we did some work. Um, I'm going to end for today and... Uh, Another three minutes, we'll make seven hours, yeah. So I gotta stop before we make seven hours, because that, that's no good. Um, I can just log off here, right? I, like everything I'm holding, I, I can just log off and come back. Why do I have some stone on me? Let's put the stone in here. Uh, yeah, we got some H2O2 generation happening on here and stuff like that too, but. Single player, right? Yeah. Single player, I can just log off, right? It's, not, it's multiplayer, you have to have a place to put yourself. That's what I've been doing on the ground. I'm just making sure it's not any different in space. Don't do that on a server. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, here's the beginnings of a... Oh, let me take that. Here's the beginnings of a base in, in the stars. Ultimately, we're going to run all the way out there too and put a solar array on that side so that we get um, sun, I think, all the time. That would be nice. But you guys have a great one. And see you next time. Whenever that may be. Bye-bye for now.